hello. And yo, mic check. One, two, one, two. Two legit city on the mic. Yo, what's going on, everybody? How y'all doing today? It's a boy, me, two legit city, and we're live. We gotta fix the mamba cam. Let me see. We gotta get the mambas in the shot. We gotta lower the cam slightly. Oh, whoa, whoa, messed it up. Alright, we should be good. Uh, I hope I sound the same. I hope everything's okay. Because I did change a little bit of the audio. I was hoping to kind of improve it. But I think we gotta do some uh, uh, changes in the background. I'm gonna be slowly doing that. I might be able to get it done soon. So in the next couple of upcoming weeks, we may be playing around with the audio levels. So I'm hoping everything's gonna be okay. I'll give you guys a warning each and every time so that you guys can adjust. But the game audio should be the same. It would only be my mic audio. Hopefully everything's going all right. And I hope the volume isn't a little bit loud. Let me know though, y'all. Let me know if the audio from my mic is a little bit too loud or too low. That way we can help you guys out. But of course, I see you guys over there in chat. Hello, hello. Lord of Heaven, Nonstop Naps, Abductor, Mr. Rusty, Fractal Kind Dream, V Roll, Nonstop Naps. I see you guys over there. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys are having a good one so far. And it is Monday, my dudes. Wait. Is today Monday? Oh, today is Monday. Might as well even be streaming Oni today. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, we're streaming only today. All right, and let's load it back. It is Monday. Usually I stream only on Tuesday, Thursdays, right? But because of yesterday's uh, Next Fest demo stream, I had to, I didn't have to. I wanted to change it just because the Next Fest is only going to be up until the 12th. I believe a lot of the demos that they have out there are going to go away on the 12th. Like, a lot of the keys are going to expire or something. So, you know, things like that. Okay. We're back. And we are unpaused. Alright, we are at 26, 28. We have people living over here. Everyone's chilling. The hatches are just hanging out. We are sending resources back home. We are running the wheel. We are not complaining. I could run power line off of this, funny enough. That might be the play. That's actually kind of funny. I might even just run this going up and just connect it onto that line and use coal. Nah, I probably shouldn't. I'm thinking about running a small transformer here just so that we don't have to run the wheel anymore. Wouldn't mind it. Wouldn't mind it. Alright, let's set that up. And set that up. Should be fine. And I shouldn't be having any problems because of that. Everything should be okay. Alright, ethanol is fine. We're not sending any more. Still the petroleum. Back on this side, we're moving the petroleum. Yes, we have this setup somewhat working. This is nice. All right, so this is our petroleum area. And we have this weird vacuum in here to have as a joint plate. And then this is our battery bank that is effectively tied to solar. So it's not so much the petroleum gen handles that. It's going to be the solar. So the solar panel tops off these batteries because these only charge at 20k relative to the smart battery. All right, 20k, these are 40. So the second half gets bopped from the top. And then for the most part, the petroleum gen only turns on when it's needed. We have two, it's 4,000 watt. That's actually more than how much the top is. Hopefully, I don't have to worry about the power generation. And then there's a little bit of heat coming in from the petroleum. I don't think we have to deal with that though. Otherwise, we have a power spy now. It's going to be nice. Well, I'm hoping it's going to be nice. And we have our rockets. All right, so this rocket has food. 22, 75, 92, 4 kill. Okay, that's not bad. 
So we have about 10%, 20% of the food about to rot. But I think it's okay. All right, so we need to continue scanning this way. It's probably this way. This is probably better. Right outside of the area. We're not going to land, though. I should probably land. No, but the lift off and all that. This is probably better because we're a little bit more uh, pushed out. There's a one tile range here that I do gain. But I think this is fine. Oh, was that auto save lag? What was that? All right, so we're going to go here. Crew launch. All right, now we have this trailblazer. That was to land on here, right? Yeah, we don't need to come back yet. There's the betas, but we can't ranch them. Feels bad. Wait. Oh, snap. All the water here melted. I mean, froze. Yo, there was a big body of water here. And it froze. <laughs> All right. I mean, it happens. It happens. The water froze. And it became the little tiles of ice. We have a dig command. The rover should be gone. Yeah, he's done. Feels bad about the rover. And then we got a couple pips. We got the gold right here. Oh, we need to come back and tame the gold volcano. So that we could feed the plug slugs back at home. Yeah, we're going to need that. Uh, that's because of tile mass. So... At a certain, uh, so basically everything in this game has something called critical mass. Critical mass determines whether or not you solidify into a diggable tile or a debris tile. Basically, there is a value in terms of the liquid entity that it has to accumulate up to. So what that means is if the water on this tile, when it's frozen, is above a certain amount of mass, it becomes a tile or a uh, debris object. So that value is, there's no set value. It's actually relative to the element and each element has a different value. So for the most part, that means that the water was most likely either dripped in or um, it was only having like one point of impact and that tile was less than a thousand. So that could mean a couple things. You could have um, mixed liquids. That's one of them usually. Uh, if you have a weird gas composition so that your water is kind of like not filling up properly. And you could have kind of like a feed in where the water spills in and then as it spills in, it freezes. I don't know if that makes sense. It's kind of like um, the magma blade, if you know what that is. The magma blade is effectively you have a volcano and then X amount of tiles from the volcano, it starts spreading out. But then it's like once it touches this tile and solidifies, it only solidifies right there, right? Because of the uh, contact below it. So then every time the magma reaches here, it becomes a debris tile. And that's because there's not enough space for all the magma to kind of move as one mass. So it incrementally spreads, right? That slow spread means that you get low mass, which means you're just making ice, kind of like that. So for the most part, it's just random chance. Gotcha, gotcha, fractal. Anytime, anytime. Ooh, this puff's about to get shot, dude. He's he's hanging out by the Weeze Ward and the Rad Bolt Gens. He's gonna get shot. Real talk, man. He's wild too. I might lose my only puff. <laughs> I might lose my only puff because he's gonna get shot by the Rad Bolts. <laughs> That'd be mad jank, though. All right, it's only eggs here. Nice. We have a lot of food. Can't be mad. We got a little baby cuddle pips. I'm going to be real, man. We have too many pips. I need to start doing something with the eggs. All right, so he's flying the scan. We're not going to go team the gold yet, but we will try to do that today. That means... I should swap the rocket, I think. No, I should probably use the other rocket. Yeah, I'll come back and use that. This is better for like a local lander, but I might have to change this to steam. All right, if that is the case, I think we deconstruct this. So let's, let's get that ready. 
seal to because it's heavy, right? Yeah, not because of uh, anything else. And then this is oxygen. Oh, I never connected this. That's kind of funny. I don't know if I should. Yeah, we will. All right, and then we were trying to get the shine bugs somewhat ready. I need to get the power line here. All right, so this power line's at 18. We put the water sieve on it. It goes to 19, 20. Not everything's going to be on at the same time, but I'm going to play as if they were. I don't want the accidental overload, or maybe it's actually okay. The pump's not going to be on it. And then we got to have more auto sweeps and loaders here. Am I low on cobalt or something? I do have cobalt. Maybe I need to use another material, that's why. I have a lot of copper. Are we making copper? We should probably make some copper. We have a good amount. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, I use gold. Because we're going to get gold. No, we use iron. We have a lot of iron. Oh, the tile off gas too much. All right, let's build this out. Feels bad. All right, so we will need more gold, but for the time being, let's get the power situated. Right, it's all going to look the same. And realistically, it should go up here. So 240 times 4, that's 48960. That's actually not too bad. That means this would go up to 3k if I connected it. I could repair everything and it would be just lead. I'm going to take a chance just because it's one less wire. I think it's a lot better. Uh, we'll go this way. That's the shortest wire we could get. And then we need to pull a line out here. I don't want to use this line though. So let's see. It's likely going to be here. One, two, probably put another one up three, or maybe this goes into here. And then we have a lot of ones at the bottom. This is going to be tough to pull all the wires out, not going to lie. All right. There is a, a couple minor things that I would like to do, and I'll set that up right now. I'm gonna move this in here so the bridge is on um, inside the box before I pull the wire out. I actually like that a little bit better for heat transfer reasons. Oh, I don't have a checkpoint here. Uh, we have oxygen, everything is good. Yep, so far so good. One, two, three, four, five, six. 24? Oh, am I missing one bed? No, I have eight beds down here. Okay, so we're fine. Good, good, good. So we're not feeding the slugs yet. They're just kind of wild because we can't afford to feed them yet. That rotted, that's fine. We have some extra petroleum that we are emptying by ourselves. Oh, is that going to bop the plants? Probably not. And then some wild uh, shine bugs. We'll keep them in there for now. Alright, so we have the pedestal stuff too. I should probably remove that stuff. Oxygen is pressurized. Alright, nice. So we want to do that. Hey, Dravy uh, coming in with the Prime. Thanks so much for the three months. Welcome back to the city. Hope you enjoyed your stay. Enjoy the Emoti 20 Days ad free viewing. Don't forget that legit sub badge. Appreciate the support. Thank you so much. I see you over there. Dravy, appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Hope you're doing well, and thank you for tuning in. How was the start of the week? How is the Mondays? I mean, it's the case of the Mondays. Oh, Dan, look at that. 50 grand. That's 50 grand, yo. You guys ever wonder how much water is in a single tile? We're going to try to hit the upper limit. Nah, I just have some gas shenanigans happening right now. That's not allowing my uh, water expand. Like you would imagine the chlorine just pushes down, but it's not doing that. Always a dilemma. Watch Oni or play Oni. <laughs> Why not both? Alright, we're going to fix this so that we can start using the salt water again. 
Uh, we're no longer adding water into here. That's due to the fact that we just have too much oxygen. And this is dormant, so I don't need to pump water right now. The other side doesn't need water either. Alright, so, you know what's the funniest thing about this? The easiest way to fix this is by removing this tile. Alright, let's watch this, boys. So that pops out. And then the water is going to push to the right. What are you doing? Move. Move. Do something. Do something. No, now we have oxygen in there. There it is. It moved. Push it out. Push it out. Push out the hydrogen, please. Come on, man. Push it out. Dude, yeah, that's 40 grand. It's spreading out slow. 100 kilograms at a time. Y'all see that? It's it's a clean 100 kilograms at a time. Y'all see that value drop? It's a clean 100. This is rather impressive. It's changing values at each 100 kilograms. Everything else, though, it's spreading at, like, weird values. But this is a clean 100 per... per it's not per second, though, because you get multiple ticks per second. Damn. Okay. So, reseal that back up. And now we have water again. Uh, let's get rid of this. We're not going to need this for a minute. Our salt water is back. Alright, we're just going to do this. Not because we need to, but because... I want to lower the temperature slightly to get to a better spot, and then we're not going to run the cool steam yet. Because once this is running again, we're going to probably increase the temperature, which is not that good. So let's try to lower it as much as we can. 20 degrees, that's pretty clean. Why not both, yo? Why not both? Alright, let's get the ladder here. We know there's going to be a ladder here. And then we... Oh, he laid an egg! And it hatched! Oh, wow! This Dreco, man, he had kids. He had kids. That's impressive. Alright, so this is going to be an oil lock. We'll do that later. Uh, scanning here. One, two, three. Alright, this is actually done. Let's go home. So nothing's over here. Alright, we're probably going to need to make our steam rocket engine today. How do you fix the hot temperature on a Dreco Ranch? Regular Dreco or a glossy Dreco? A lot of the times, the regular Drecos can't actually get to that heat level. So that usually isn't the case. For these guys, it's usually because regular Drecos and the glossy ones that hatch start pretty hot, and they're actually hotter than the mealwood. If it's the mealwood, I am actually running a radiant pipeline like that. But if you don't have that, what you could do for like 30 to 50 cycles at a time is build one temp shift plate out of ice, right? So if you do a minimal amount of water in your locks right here on the side, your ice is going to melt and then spill off to both sides. And then that's going to lower the temperature of the room. Your mule is going to be able to grow for like, you know, 30 to 50 cycles, depending on how active your Dreckle Ranch is. And then, you know, you could do it again. It's 800 kilograms. These are 4,000 tiles in uh, mass. So you put about four temperature plates. The fifth one is probably going to overspill, but you probably just mop it up, right? But yeah, ice temperature plates until you get the aqua tuner uh, cooling line. A lot of the times, that's going to be your solution. Of course, though, I'm not sure if that's going to be what you're specifically asking for. Hopefully it is. And I put too much ethanol here. I didn't realize that good news is is that we're fine we're just gonna remove this all right he's trying to become a sandy shell 97 percent chance that's great and then we need to put a uh, oak shell here next all right let's do a little bit of sweeping just because my dupes are a little bit uh we got to clean man we got to clean Ah, 
I'm thinking about locking my ranch doors so that the freaking dupes stop bringing items through the room. <laughs> that stuff's kind of annoying. Little pip sounds. Oh, they're cramped finally. This is exactly what Mamba does. He jumps on the tree and he jumps off the tree. All right, so we won't deal with the pips yet. Let's get a power line. We have this now. So we'll do that. And then we're just going to run a simple setup. Yeah, we'll do it like that. Should be fine. We could run a bridge from here to the top, which I honestly wouldn't be too mad about. And then, hmm. I could probably pull a couple other lines up through the top as well. I'm also thinking about putting a wall here and then running lines out this way. That could work. All right, so we want this. We want to get to here. We could have a line here. This line means one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So realistically, I want five. So maybe this doesn't come out from that way. We run a different line out this way. So it's one, two, three, four, five. I actually like that. We had to replace that with a tile then. All right. That means we'll have A, B, C, D, E. And then this comes down and we're gonna have a, <laughs> we're gonna have a conductive wire spine here effectively. Fun times. All right, so this comes straight down. This is gonna connect to the doodle riser, most likely. And then I think this was going to be a menagerie. So that usually means we'll go like this. And then this just hops out into here. That should be fine. Get the five on there. It's not going to be a big deal, I don't think. I might actually remove that as well. There is still polluted oxygen, though. And I guess we could start cleaning up some of the insides. All right, speed this up. We're on the way back. Good, good. People on the other side have food. Yes, dude, they have a lot of food. Oh, they got the preserves in the fridge. Oh, and did we get the... Ah, let's go. So let's do this, and let's do that. So no one runs the wheel anymore. We do this. We do that. And then we do this. So now we have power from the petroleum line into the line here, which means we stop running the wheel. Hopefully, that's not going to impact the petroleum. If it does, we should still be okay. And we're not really using the petroleum, so it's fine. So that means they're just going to be working over here. Pulling out the items. Warm suits, salt, eggs, rub fruit. No, so we should no longer do that. And then table salt, lead. We have a lot of dirt here. Lead, still a good amount. Diamonds, okay. That is manufa- wait, wait, no, it's right here, yeah. And then sulfur on the ground, I guess? Whatever's here. I'm thinking about making a meme spot to put this light, because it's like, I need to just move it to somewhere, I think. Maybe, maybe not. All right, so they're going to work on that. That's fine. I should try to sweep this room as well. It's probably going to be mad cold, though, the resources. And then, oh, this is all polluted oxygen? I didn't even realize that. All right. We're going to need a deodorizer right here. This power line is probably okay. And then this line's probably fine as well. Oh, this is awful cold jet. That's pretty funny. Deodorizer, deodorizer. I'll probably need to get one in the middle later. All right, we have a couple of suits. We can't repair because we don't have warrants. So that's fine. Waiting for that. Okay. Seems good. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make a steam uh, generator. It sounds weird. We need to generate steam. Do you have meteor showers? I do. We have slime meteors, and I think, uh, regolith? Slimy, copper, and ice. 
I see no copper here, dude. What the heck is that? I guess you don't get tiles of copper. You only get like small trace amounts. What's going on, D Mayor? How are you? Welcome in. Hello, hello. All right, so we're gonna decon everything. We are no longer gonna need this seal two line. We are effectively going to be replacing this with steam. I'm also probably going to want to remove the oxygen line. Realistically. Alright, so we're going to go into steam turbine tech. Steam turbine. Steam engine tech, I'm sorry. Because I need to do some exploration, and that's going to be the way to do it. Let's do a little bit more iron. Having some steel is kind of nice. Let's go with 31. That's the lime limit. And what are we researching right now? Oh, we're still doing this. L Gamer does not want to... Oh, D Mayor and Zandroff is along. Alright, D Mayor. Where... Oh, you're not a scientist. Why are you... Why... Oh, D Mayor. Oh, it's the other D Mayor. God damn it. Here we go. It's the other D Mayor. This guy. I forget, there's two of them, dude. This guy, D Mayor, has a second dupe. Alright, we need to do this. So we can do the Rad Bolt stuff. And what was the other one? Zandroff. Yeah, it's the other D Mayor, dude. My bad. Zandroff, you here, man? We sending you. Oh, you have cooking skill for no reason. Okay. We're gonna give you science skill today. Should be good. Oh yeah, this is this is Mr. Pip. Oh Mr. Pip the third. Oh man, third of his name. This guy was the legend. He's still wild, even though he's uh you know, living in the barracks. He's a uh, resident Pip. He's hanging out with us, man. Mr. Pip the third. I wish we could change his skin or something. Make him a little bit unique. Do you guys think they're going to do that, man? Add in skins for the critters. Like they do the cosmetics for everything else. Y'all think they'll actually do that? Alright, we're going to get all that together. Alright, so all this needs to go into our box. And we got to do a couple things. This is going to get convoluted as hell. This is going to get mad convoluted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then there's a empty room. I guess that's fine. We would do... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I wish I could have a wider setup. But I think this is probably for the best. Alright. I'm going to do that tile just so that nothing gets stuck in there. And then this is just going to be open space. Now I need to figure out how I want to do this. How does the airborne critter trap? This is a 2 by one, one by 2 Oh, nice. Give the little pip a little fedora. <laughs> That'd be cool. Give, would you guys want, like, complete revamp of the artwork for the critters? Or would you rather have them have, like, equipment? Maybe it'll be, like, you know, like what D-Mare's saying. Little hats for each one of the critters. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. But if you guys had to choose one or the other, which one would you guys choose? I feel like this deserves a little bit of a gas tile right here. Yeah, it's probably no problem with that. Okay. So before we work on that, let's get the steam. I keep getting sidetracked. So we have a lot of power here. It's not really going to be a big deal. At least I don't think. So... Please don't individualize my critters. I don't want to feel bad when I force you all. <laughs> Oh, man. 
Yo, man. I see you over the Dravy. Can't be, can't be, can't be making that bond with them, man. Feels bad. Feels bad. So I think because of how I want to do this, I could, oh, the seal two lines in there. That means I can't run my steam line in there. Oh, that's tough. All right, that means I have to do it here. Like there's no, there's no, nothing I could say about it. Yeah. So telescope, we're going to bop. We're also going to bop this one. Uh, we're going to hollow this out because we have to kind of just build it here. I could probably just move it up as well like to be real and then we're gonna make our steel or steel our uh, steam generating setup steam is nice steam is nice yo man dravy had flashbacks to when he had a pet chicken when he was little and he's like yo man don't bring it back not like this We got the printer bolts. Ooh, plastic. Yeah, 23 tons. We don't need that. Oh, man. Dude, huge rip, Dravy. Yeah, it's, that's tough, man. That's tough. Dude, this guy got shot. Severe wounds. I knew it, man. I told you to not hang out here, dude. Yo, man, this guy got zapped. He took 20 damage. Mm -mm, man, we can't heal you. Dude, they need, they need to bring that into this, this game. We need to be able to tend to our animals. I feel like that's something we really need in this game. Because when, when the critters get hurt like this, because they get shot by the rad bolts, we can't apply triage or anything. Like, they just kind of like, yo, man, <laughs> life is over for them, man. They're limping, and we can't help them out. I feel like that's kind of messed up, man. We should be able to save the animals. More ways than one. Nice. We have the power now. I got the power. Alright. Let's bring some lines down. Just because it's like... In most cases, that's going to happen. I'm also going to trim this right here. All right, so this line is a weird power line. Oh, okay, I don't need this anymore. So we're going to cut this, and this comes down, and then we're going to decon that power line. All right, so this line goes in and effectively powers the aqua tuner. Okay. I guess we could change up how this line kind of works. I could use this line and try to clean it up a little bit, in which case I think we will. Uh, what makes the most sense is this. And I'd probably want to redo this, but I could probably just keep that door on the line. Nothing I need to worry about. And I think we would do that. And then we want to remove this line, because it's a little bit bad looking. And then once this is here, I think the smart setup would be running it underneath. This might be hot, right? Yeah, I hope my dupes don't get cooked doing that. Yeah, my dupes are gonna get cooked doing that, huh? We have triages? I don't have triage cots out? Okay. <laughs> let's, let's bring these back. My dupes are gonna make some bad decisions right now. All right. We're gonna do that so we could easily transfer the power line. All right, we're gonna do this. And then decon this plus that. Just so that it looks better. This is almost done. Roasted dupe sounds like hatch BBQ with extra steps. Yo, man. All I'm saying is the dupes do the darndest things. They really do. I need to get a drop of oil now. Oh, man. That's a lot. Uh... There's no oil on the ground, huh? All right, I might also want to start doing this today. The pinch of pepper plant. Oh, this is also uh, 
waiting for me to pick a tech. Oh, dude, what happened? Oh, I was going to say, man, the tech looked broken. That was kind of weird. I've never seen that before. Broken looking tech. All right, this is payload opener plus mobile miner. I might actually have to set that up for the gold volcano, realistically. I, I wouldn't want to, but I might have to. All right, so back to here. Still building some of this stuff, unreachable. And then I believe it's here. One, two, three, four, five. Then it's here. Yeah. Then I, yeah, I'm out of cobalt because I'm just making this all day. <laughs> uh, hmm. I'm out of cobalt from doing this. All right. I think we have to use a different, different material, right? It's probably going to be... Oh, yeah, they're getting cooked, man. Oh, they touched the oil, which kept them cool. Wow. Catalina took minimum damage. All right, Catalina's chilling, though. Oh, we got shine bugs here now. Nice. Uh, I don't have a spot for the exit, so I need to do this fast, right? Um, okay. That means we will do it here. Alright. We have to move the oil here. We have to do this ASAP. I'll, I'll get this done soon. Cyberdyne, welcome in. I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. Hello, hello. How are you? I see you over there. Hope you're doing well, Mr. Cyberdyne. Alright, that got built. So we need to move this here so that I could empty the oil and then mop it up. I need to pick up a bottle. Not a bottle, like a drop. And then this is going to be suits. Scolding. Oh, stop rubbing your eyes. It's cool. It's, no one's hurt anymore. Now we got this line, which isn't too bad. Alright, now we gotta hit empty. Let's go back up top. Oh, I can't. Oh, I have to go all the way around just to remove that. Wow. Alright, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. Oh! This doesn't work because I don't have enough space. Wait, what? Oh, snap. I don't have enough space for this. Unless I do five high, which is really weird. I guess that's the play then. We will do it like that. I could climb up with the ladder on the backside, so it's not that big of a deal. And then I would have to put drywall here. We'll probably just put sandstone. And then we're going to have to have a steel lock with tuner here. Uh, temperature check doesn't matter. We're just using this as a heat source. And then we're going to have to have a steel pump. And then we're going to have to have a liquid vent. I will put iron here. Probably doesn't matter which side we put it. I'll just put it on this side. Rainbow drywall. Yo, man, we probably could. Uh, cancel background buildings. Let's see. I do have rainbow stripe. Let's go with the vertical stripes. Alright, we gotta wait for the dupes. Uh, power line here. It's already, already ready. Can't complain. This is on suit line plus that. Okay. And then this is moppable. Nice. Now we need to just get a drop of oil to put here. Okay. So the problem now is... Speed this up. We got to wait for that, right? Uh, let's see. 
dude, there's a lot of like small things we gotta take care of. We gotta make the steam. This guy's back. I need to prep up for the gold volcano. And then I need to get steam engine first so we could continue scanning. That's one of the more important things because we need to locate shovel and gas emu before we could beat the game. So the other critters, while we could try to like beeline for them, it's not that big of a deal. Grub grubs. Dude, there's so many right here. They chilling though. I really want to get pinch of pepper nuts though. I might want to do that sooner than later. Maybe this is going to be the last row. That makes a lot of sense if it is. Hmm. Uh, if we go normal spacing, it's here. Here, here, here. Right, so let's cancel all this. Four? Yeah. That's perfect. Wow. Okay, we'll do it. We're just going to have the pinch of pepper nuts uh, farm be only this large. Because realistically, that means this is proper. I can't complain about that. Uh, and what we'll also do is start bopping some of these doors that's going to be space for them to build to get this ready I accidentally keep breaking my street feels bad man could do a lot feels bad lost the street dude but still got a five stream street can't be mad about that i see you over there filter not design this is not lit but that's lit i guess it's okay This is still being built. That's ready. All right, let's get the steam engine. Oh, there's not enough space because of the uh, freaking ladders. Gotcha. Did we get the oil? We need to move that up next. So it's probably this one. 900, 600, 3,000. Dude, there's nothing. That's only a drop, huh? Yeah, everything's big drops. All right, we're going to move the 1,000. That does mean we'll get a little bit to spill out, but I don't think it's a big deal. I blame them to sneak in streams when it can't be there. <laughs> My bad, y'all. I try to stream as much as I can. My bad, not bad. Stream schedule too active. We got to cut the days. Temperature's not bad here. It's slowly working. Oh, we gotta make this P9. This guy likes to do surprise streams sometimes. Yo, man, I was gonna stream. What do you mean? Okay, so this is getting built out. Can't complain. Um, we were going to remove this, right? And then these are ready. One, two, three. I think the view streak is buggy. It keeps resetting me to one, and I know that's not right. That's weird. I mean, it is new. Chance of it being buggy is pretty high, to be honest. It's a new feature, right? I, I don't expect it to be working well off the get-go. But yeah, I've heard a lot of people say that, actually. Maybe we just, you know, don't know how it works. But at the same time, if it's resetting like that, yeah, it's probably bugged out. I wouldn't think too much about it, though. Alright, the pip eggs we'll deal with. Ah, snap. We're in, boys. All right, so we're going to do this. Pull this out. Pull this in. Now we got to start setting this up. It's just something to flex, I guess, Cyberdyne. 
it's I think it's more so a thing where it's like, you know, people are expecting it to kind of just work really well. Ah, we're just going to use this because it's going to be half bathroom, half uh, steam engine. Yeah, that's fine. Just bonus points, yeah. All right, so this is going to be how this works. So most likely we're going to need... Let's see. The cold temperature probably doesn't help here, huh? Let's start trimming this. Oh, it gives you channel points. Oh, I see you guys. Hey, you gamer, welcome in. I've got the grand finale for this run, Noah's Ark. Take two of each animal. And take them to the temporal tear. Oh, man. What a way to wrap it up. So we save the animals to kill the animals. Wow, dude. Flex on behalf of the viewer, and sometimes it can be a boost tomorrow with this stream. If you don't know how often folks who are mostly lurk are actually there. That's true, too. That's another. That's a great point, yeah. Sometimes people come in with the streets. I'm kind of surprised. Because it's like, you know, sometimes they're just lurkers and don't chat, right? And it is. That's true. What, what Susamu says, man. 100%. good boost of confidence all right let's speed this up we'll get shine bugs today oh this is here all right so we're gonna empty this and then i need to make a temperature control setup oh wow it wants me to do it like that um, yeah, that makes sense. This tile is cobalt, though. Alright, it's low connectivity, at least. Alright, yeah, we do, the, we do the exchange on this side. Wait, wait, wait. Does not generate heat. Okay, nice, 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 nice. This works out, then. Um, you could build on the watt plate, so it's not a problem. Alright, so input, output. So output is here. So that means thermal pipe. Let's use iron for this. We could do that. And then this has to be like this then. Oh... I would bridge here, I guess. That wouldn't be a big deal. Green to green, and then it's literally like this. Very straightforward. It's on the power line. Oh, snap. So I actually don't have to plug it in. That's kind of cool. Oh, I didn't need conductive wiring here. I could have just put a joint plate to the solar panels. And I always would have power. Because <laughs> technically there's no heat leak here. Because this is a vacuum. That's true. I could literally just put a joint plate on this tile. And there would be no problems. I just put a heavy wand inside. I might actually want to do that. Just because it's probably going to be better for the power. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of insane. Actually really insane. Let me save a power line. Actually, let's not cut this. We might need this to run up into the uh, rockets later. This one will remove them. All right, priorities, nine, construction, whatever it is here, we're going to do. So the AQ is always going to run. And then we got to do a joint plate here. Oh, I can't. Oh, snap. It's going to be here? That should be okay. All right, so should be good. And then we need to move the lead out. We just gotta clean up the box. The automation is straightforward, just like that. All right, so we could see what we're doing, right? Very simple. 
mind, I am going to put a reservoir here. Okay. So there's a line here that we're using for water in the moment. It's coming in from here. We're going to convert this line into steam. And what we're going to do is we're going to have two lines here. One of them is going to be adding into the coolant loop. Oh, that means I need hot water, right? Ooh, uh, that means it's going to be this water. That's actually amazing if I could use that then. All right. Uh, this is actually what I want. That's kind of wild. Can I do a secondary line here? This is so spaghetti already, though. That's the problem. This is ultimate spaghetti madness. How much water do we have on the other side? Uh, we still have about 20 tons. I realistically shouldn't complain. I think I'm going to start sieving this water. And start just dumping it back in. Pat the streamer, I see a Susumu. You came looking for the commands? Yo, man, if there's anything special you're looking for, let me know. I'll do my best now. If there's anything specific. No more oil spill, that's fine. Oh, I need to get the oil spill here. Okay. That's gonna be this tile, this tile. Okay, so for the aqua tuner to work, I need hot water. That's insane. That means I realistically need to use a different water tank. So the hot water is here, coming in from this. I don't really need to add water to this anymore, though. That's another upside. So what I would want to do is I could put a bridge here to prioritize the second line. But then how would I bring it up top? There's so much that could go wrong with this. Like my insulated tile is ice cold. So running it through here might be a bad thing. Now the good news is, is that the top is, is cold. Oh man. Maybe I just attach it to this line and it's not that big of a deal. Because we're not going to be running a long sequence, right? We're going to have to liquid valve it. So I'd probably go straight down, go across, go down this way. Yeah, that's a petroleum line. Mmm, yeah. Bridge. Up, over, up. Go up this way. Yeah, I see it. Dude, that's kind of a pain, though. I mean, I guess it is what it is. Alright, so... Let's get that set up here and then minimally here. We know that it's going to look like this and then we're going to run it through here. Uh, I wanted to run this insulated, but I might just leave this open now, to be honest. Okay, have that most likely come straight down. That means we'll have a bridge here. That way I could have that come straight down without having a bridge come out. And it's likely going to be here. Feels bad. It's going to have to have a pipe coming up the kitchen. It's going to come like that and then like this. That's going to get cut. That's going to get cut. So this is going to come down. I guess from here, I'll go into the door. We still will use this heat exchanger, so we'll need another bridge here. And then this is the line, so... It's gonna look like that. Dude, such spaghetti. Hello, getting back to Oni after a long while. Looking to see if you have a list of recommended mods used for quality of life. Seems like a few, such as pliers, have been added to the game. Uh, I don't have a lot of mods that I use. Bottom bridge backwards. No, bottom bridge is right. This bridge is correct. This bridge is correct. This is correct. This is wrong. I'm sorry. This one is supposed to go this way. There we go. Good eye if it was this one. Because the water leaves the system. There we go. 
but uh, for the most part, I don't use too many mods. Uh, let me remove my cam. Mamba, you're going to have to disappear, baby. There we go. All right, so on the bottom right, there is a disconnect tool. This is basically pliers, and it's a uh, base game now, so you don't need a mod for that. Now, I do use a couple of mods. The mod I use is called Smart Mod. Effectively, you have uh, trace amounts of water right here, right? I click it once and it mops up everything that's the same type of liquid. So this is brine. So all the brine that's touching the brine gets picked up. And then it mops one click. That's a very minor mod. It's called Smart Mop. I play with that on. And then I have... Well, I think my mods list is like this. So Smart Mop, Pliers, I just haven't removed it from the list because they added it to the game now, right? And then sweep by type. That's another one that's great. Um, right here, you see your sweep commands. Normally, when you sweep, you pick up everything. I now have a menu, so I have a selective sweep. This is great for when you have a printing pod and all your items right here from your printing, uh, printing pod rewards. Sometimes you're just trying to get, you know, one of the eggs that you just got, right? And it's hard because you can't select the egg. You have a stack of items. So what I do is sometimes you have sweep by type. That allows you to sweep specifically. And it's really good. Oh, my bathrooms are full. Somebody please do this now. Joshua, please. We need this done. And then DJSM is how you would have customized dupes at the beginning. I don't do anything insane with them. While the mod does give you a lot of uh, leeway, I don't use a lot of uh, features. Just because it's too strong. But yeah, I hope that helps. Alright, the babies is back. The babies is back. Baytor mod. Yo, man, Baytor mod's good. No, man, the toilet's clogged. Please, finish this. Please, 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 please. Toilets 1 to 26. Catalina, man, hurry up. Oh, dude, all the toilets are full. Where is Catalina? She's been trying to walk over here for like years. What is she doing? Kenny Day, welcome in. Catalina, he had one job, man. He took forever to get here. Research is complete. Nice. There we go. Everything's working to get nice. Toilets are fine. Please, no one make a mess. Nobody make a mess, please. Not today. Is there anything here I need? Liquid. Lead suits, jetpacks, large liquid, meteor blaster. Uranium's tech. That's already researched. I don't have plastic tech. Alright, we're just gonna do this for the to complete it. Alright, so this is fine now. Okay. So how are we up top? This is kind of ready. There is no gas here. Alright, so now I need to get a gas pipeline. And this is gonna be steam. So realistically, we're just gonna pull one like that. And then I'll likely want to put a dump valve on the side. Should be okay. Liquid coming in, liquid coming in, liquid going out. We have a temp check, so we want to make sure green signal if it's colder than 15, so that it doesn't freeze in the pipe. And then this is to add water into it, so we could run an aqua tuner. Alright, cold water line. I'm probably just going to dump this then. Alright, so now we do this. We do that. Ah, uh, so we do this. Oh, and it doesn't connect. Oh, that's... And there we go.
almost done getting this. Oh, need to connect that though. All right, should be good. So we're gonna cut this pipeline, even though we can't reach this anymore. We're not gonna decon it though, cause it's not worth it. All right, so this ladder needs to be gone. Man, you have a list right there, Kenny Dave. Oh, you have build over plants. <laughs> I see you over there, man. Sometimes you need that. Sometimes you need that. All right, so I think this power line's ready too. So, how much wattage is this? Yeah, I realistically shouldn't try to put. Oh, the door is never actually going to turn on though. That actually means I should be able to connect this onto it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's do this. And then we're going to bop this power line. Let's make that upgrade there. Make the upgrade there. All right. We'll wait for that then. All right. I still want to relocate this water tank. I could probably move it over here. Even if it's temporary. True Tiles is great. Helps you not build out the wrong thing, which I do a lot otherwise. Oh, huh. I actually don't have that problem, but I never considered that to be a solution. Huh. I thought, I've always considered True Tiles like a cosmetic thing, but I guess it does help out with that. Make sure you're building out of the correct material type. I've never actually considered it, though. I probably should have. <laughs> I probably should have. That's a pop eardrums right there. It's fine. We'll tank it out. It's also hot. All right, man, can we sweep that? Nice. Take a little bit of damage, it's fine. All right, so let's get rid of this. All right, so that's connected. All right, so that means I could just do this. Okay, deconstruct all of that. This is a standalone coal gen that does nothing. We're just going to get rid of it. And then the automation as well. Being deconstructed. Nice. All right, going to remove some of these gens that we didn't need. There's going to be another line that we're going to take over here as well. It's going to come straight down. And then we're going to remove a lot of these lines. Oh, that means we're going to do this then. So that we could remove the uh, conductive from looking like there's something there. I might also want to run this in here and then go up. Just so that we could have doors there and it looks a little bit more uniform. I consider it. I don't know if we'll actually do it though. Research is complete. Oh wow. I guess we had the data banks. Uh, I'm impressed then, right? Okay. 400. Let's move. Oh, oh. Move that to here. 300. Move that to here. Those are going to be the new one-drop locks. Okay. Everything here is actually good, right? Water line. Automation is outside. Power is connected. There is a wire here. So I could actually close and connect. There's no liquid inside. Gases are okay. Steel, steel. Yeah, everything's looking good. All right, let's seal it up. Doesn't feel like we're gonna have any problems with this. And then let's build our first steam rocket engine. Okay, let's make that out of iron. Um, we're gonna want the regular spacefarer. And we're gonna do the swap. Sometimes you gotta have the wagon. You gotta have the junk in the trunk. And then we gotta add some stuff, right? So I'm gonna actually want this a little bit taller. I'm gonna put battery right between us. There we go. Now the engine's at a better spot. I could probably push it up a little bit more. So above this is nose cone. Alright, so what else would I want from this? This would be a telescope rocket. I should try to put gas cargo then. And then the only other thing would be 
if I wanted solar panels or artifacts. I probably don't need artifacts, so we'll probably just live like this. Alright, so typically I think it's a right side uh, steam vent. Yeah, so we need the ladder on the right side. And then one, two, three, four. I barely reached that. Nice. Now, for the most part, we're going to need this, though. To be able to reach building at the top. And then it should be like this, and I should be able to reach. Yeah. All right. Now, the seal two line, I don't think we're going to need anymore. Oh, I'm still pumping seal two. Oh, I'm deleting oxygen. You gotta stop. What are we doing over here? Feels bad. All right, seal that. I need to remove this now. And then we could seal this up. We're gonna remove the majority of this, but not all of it. We're gonna get the tile there. This is almost ready. Rainbow drywall, did not expect it to be honest. Yo man, at the request of chat. It looked pretty good, man. It looked pretty good. Alright, I think we're gonna dump the seal tube. I'm gonna put that there just so that we could have the line. And I think I am just gonna bop the line. So we're effectively gonna remove the bridge here. And then this bridge here as well. We're not going to pump anymore. If we need seal 2 we'll use that for something else. Like maybe it's soda fountain or something. But right now we don't need it anymore. And then we're just going to dump the gas. We're going to change how this rocket works too. Steam rocket would, I think, always be better. So we're just going to make some upgrades. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. Wait for the dupes. Research is done. Yeah, we have the data banks. Uh, I guess we could just tack up. Let's get the coffee. Alright, so this is good. No power is being used, but it is on the line. 2,000. This is going to come straight down so we can pop these cold gens. That's going to be good. And then this is at 1820. Realistically, I could try to put the power on here. And then I shouldn't have to worry, but I'm a little bit scared. Can't decide which rocket looks sillier. Hey man, dude. Nothing wrong with the rocket designs. This is the future, baby. Sometimes things are not as they seem. And this is actually very efficient. What's going on, Justin? How are you? I see you over there. Right. And then let's get some suits for here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I don't think we'll need more than five. I feel like that's rather safe. Um, I probably don't need insulated tiles here at all. Probably not needed. So we're just going to remove this. And this is going to be our pinch of pepper nut farm. So it's right to left, top to bottom. No, no, no. It's right to left, bottom to top, right? I forget what was the pattern for pinches. Oh, man. Lady sleeping, doing some homework. So I'll be lurking. Gotcha, man. Justin being diligent. It's bottom to top, right, for pinches? Bottom to top? Okay. I was going to say, I was like, there was something weird about how pinches worked. And I forgot about it. Uh, so I will put one, two, wait, five. Oh, that means my dupes can't reach it, right? My dupes can't reach. No, pinches are not the opposite. Pinches require a different rule set. This is five wide. Pinches are five wide on the vertical height as well. So if you have a normal four tile spacing, you will never be able to plant pinches, regardless of how you plant it. 
<laughs> pinchers are special. It's not just the uh, bottom to top reverse pattern. It's also the uh, the width has also changed. Oh no, I messed up. Oh no, I messed up. I forgot to decon this. Now I can't reach. Yeah, because I deconned the lower level. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> well, all right, we'll fix this right now. Uh, that should be good. Any plant that hangs upside down is bottom to top and needs one more space. Yep, so nosh beans, dasha, salt vines, pinch of pepper plants. D could you use automation instead of dupe labor? For... For what? Automation instead of dupe labor. Are we talking about the... Harvesting? That's the only thing I could think of that kind of fulfills that. Oh, for the seeds. I'm going to be using pips. These are natural tiles. So we're going to be using these guys. So we need to adjust how they, um, you know, decide how they want to do that. All right, I was looking for a small furniture item. I think it's the flower pot. Yes, it is. This is perfect. What's going on, TJ? How are you? I see you over there. I hope you're doing well. Hello, hello. This looks really jank. And the reasoning is because duplicants won't build this. And then the blueprint makes it so that the pips can't actually plant there as well. <laughs> right? I can't reach it, so they won't supply it. Some of the ones they can because of the neutronium, but that's fine. And then we're just trying to prevent the pips from planting here. We're going to go right... Oh, no. We're going to go right to left, bottom to top. There we go. Okay, the last thing we're going to need here is... We're going to do this temporarily so that the pips don't just walk out. They could actually walk out from the top side right here. Here to here to here. Since there's no gas there or anything, it's actually safe. How they get planted then? Uh, I need to plant it in order. So it needs to be bottom right first. Just because uh, pinches are weird. And then we got to bring in the seeds. I'll probably want to move seeds like this. I might need one in the back too, so these guys get seeds. Alright, that should be fine. Okay, so I need to do this. Empty, empty. These guys are groomed and tamed. We got our first set of shine bugs. Pips will plant them like how they plant other plants naturally. Yes. That's exactly correct. All right, we won't need the other ones yet. We'll do the first one. Uh, seeds. Where are my pinches at? There we go. No, the pips will plant them. It's just that they won't plant them if they're not spaced out and set up accordingly. So you need five tile range between your layers actually instead of four. And then they reverse the pattern. So they go bottom to top instead of top to bottom. Well, they still go right to left though. That's the only thing that's the same. But otherwise, it's a little bit different. Not so much that it's, uh, you know, that you can't. It, you just need a different situation than you normally would. It's still cooking. Nice. All right, we got that. Tile, tile. Good, good. All right, we're going to see. We could reach this. Why does it say no one wants to reach this? Can anyone reach this?
they can, right? Yeah, we could reach this. We could reach this, man. Make me think that we don't. Okay, so this pipeline. Alright, just gonna dump out the seal too. Y'all know what it is. Still trying to bop this setup. And then we need to get the steam engine. Uh so we wanna go here. I stand here. One, two, three, four. Okay. That's optimal spacing technically. Ooh, hmm. So I guess we could just take that line. Because I think taking this line makes the most sense. Which means we bop that, and then we just take this line. And then we'll run another line here. Because that's going to be a steam engine here too. Alright, get rid of this. Alright, all the CO2 got dumped out. We are going to bop it here, just in case we actually plug it in and forget about it. Disconnect that. Uh, gonna go like that. Let's get rid of this. I guess we could bop this for now. That random bridge. Okay, it's inside. Let's get rid of this. All right, we're gonna be making the very jank design. Uh, it's gonna be like that. Gotta move that up. So I was thinking about putting data collection lab. Probably not gonna need that. So instead we'll have a fridge. All right, we're going to move this inside, second door. We're going to do the normal plumbing scheme. Y'all know how that works. Plastic tiles at the ceiling, so we don't need to deal with the radiation. One, two, three, four. So I'm here, here. Reach everything. And then I need to get uh, sockets. So I'll probably want to use four. Yeah, so we're going to be using sockets here. So we'll have a wall socket. And then we need a gas socket. So we need gas intake, gas output. So into storage, that's probably here. And then out of storage, that's probably here. Oh, that's liquid. Alright, we're also going to need to ground this so no one pees in the rocket. They should not be doing that. Oh, shine bug eggs. We'll go with that. Okay, 113 seeds. That's way more than enough. Uh, so let's see. There's a couple of rules we need to be worried about. One of them is gas pressure. Um, this gas technically doesn't really work for us. Feels bad. And... I need to get gas flow into here. Let's pull this out. We're likely going to have to pull from here. I don't like how that layer kind of works. So we're just going to go like this. And we're going to want to vacuum this, I think. Just because the gas pressure is going to be a problem. So let's go like this. Alright. Separating... Oh, I don't get to here. Separating the pump areas actually make it so that it pumps easier. It's really nice. Now, the problem is we don't have power. Uh, we're going to run it off the H2, I guess. Realistically, I need to uh, replace this wire. These two probably combine into something. Use the HD for something. So we will, I like the H2 line. Uh, all right, we'll do this. All 
instead of having a dupe run the wheel, right? That comes down. Uh, I could reach, so this is fine. And then that way I don't accidentally go through a natural tile. All right, seems good. These guys are chilling. They have a lot of food. Bathrooms are looking okay. All right, guys, I got a beer beat real fast. I got to pee real quick, you guys, real quick. I'll be right back. Y'all, I apologize. Hopefully you guys uh, got a stretch in. Was able to, you know, get a little bit of blood flowing. Gotta get up and stretch, y'all, when you guys can. Also, stay hydrated. Y'all know what it is. It's good for the body, good for the health. Okay, so beach chair for the memes. And let's see. Uh, this pipeline with the hot water is ready. Uh, the problem is, I probably want to meter valve this. There's no real way that I can, though, without the water becoming an issue. All right, so this is here now. We are going to cut this. Going to get rid of this, rid of that. And we're going to go straight across. All right, that's going to be fine. All right. Can... No, they're, they they want me to remove the ladders first, right? I don't know if they allow you to build this. And what I mean when I say that is, is that... Uh, yeah, I can't build the engine ab above me. Oh, no, they do. I just have to remove the ladders, I think, because I can select the CO2 engine. Okay, we just got to wait back into here we're still waiting for this that's fine uh, we're not gonna data bank here we're gonna be telescoping and i think we're just gonna be chilling around all right well might as well give the dupes some nice stuff i guess we'll give them a table and a bed he's not gonna get any room bonuses though that's a sad thing all right it's a little bit cleaner now let's go I probably should have had this come in like that. And then have this go straight across. Would have looked a little bit better. We can also fix that later. Alright, so we're getting our vacuums in. Let's go. These seeds don't rot or anything. Don't need to worry about it. Alright, so there's a thing with the pips. We're going to wait. Um, pip planting rules. There's a little bit of temperature involved. Gas pressure at the bottom wasn't going to work. So I just wanted to get that uh, changed. Basically, the gas rules less than 150 grams that you have on the plants. I was at 30 grams at the bottom because of uh, CO2 polluted oxygen trace amounts. So that was a little bit of a problem. So I'm going to vacuum instead. That way I don't have to deal with it later. Okay. So the problem we have here is that we have no real way of holding hot water in the pipes. Because it's going to be bad for us. So a lot of the time this means we're going to have to do a secondary strat. 
cut everything. Probably want to remove this, to be honest. And then steam for the steam engine. Liquid lock is broken at the seeds. It is. I should probably try to fix it. Blackie, welcome in. I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. Mercado, you too. I see you guys over there. Zero Dragon. Hello, hello. How are you guys? Hope you guys are doing well. TJ, I didn't say hello if I if I didn't. I think I did. I might have not, though. Hope you guys are doing well. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope the Mondays are... Well, not Mondays. Hopefully they're better than a Monday. But thank you guys for tuning in, man. Hope you guys are doing well. How are you guys? CO2 is actually getting bottlenecked by that tile. It's kind of weird. Hey, Lohot's coming in with the Prime. Thanks so much for the three months. Welcome back to the city. Hope you enjoyed your stay. Enjoy the emote toying dice and free viewing. Don't forget that legit sub badge. We appreciate the three months. Thank you for the support. Are you going to go to bed? For sure. Yo, man, it's late. 12 a.m. Midnight. But yo, of course, thank you for popping in, Blacky. I see you over there. Oxygen here is good. I might want to release some hydrogen somewhere else. All right, and research is also done. Um, I need Great Monument. I don't need it. I kind of just would want it. Okay, so this is clean. This is somewhat okay now. Okay. And then this is 15. This actually shouldn't pump until we are ready. So we're just going to use the pliers for that. And then... I guess we can get this started for now. I think I'm going to want to do some plumbing real quick, though. Like, I'm going to cut this line so we don't add anything in. And I think we're not going to take any of the exchange line. This is the fact that we only hot water. I need to get it started, though. It's not an Oni victory without a great monument. Yo, man, it's, it's, it's a good point. That's a good point. Okay, so we have 78 degrees of hot water. That's great. I actually kind of want to use as much of the water as we can. That way, once this is active again, we just have room to just, you know, get all the water that's generating. Alright, so that's kind of chilling. My dupes aren't doing much right now. Alright, so it's going to be the rocket then. So I need to move this up. This is made out of iron. That's totally fine. We're going to swap. On top of this, we're going to add a iron battery, just like the second one. And then on top of this, we will add the gas canister. I'm a fan of this now. We, we get to stay on the planets a little bit longer. And then those go. Okay, so now we want this. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, and then I could reach everything here. And then I have to do a second ladder on the side. All right, we're going to do it like that in hopes that we actually could build everything. And then the interior should be set. So this is going to be... Oh, we have food in here. Y'all keep... Yeah, it's fine. It's food. Whatever. <laughs> It's, it's going to run 30 cycles. I'm really not too worried about that. We should be making more than enough. Alright, so that should be good. We'll build that out. The interior is actually done. We're going to build this. Got the bed. Need the water in here. And then we need the pipelines. Uh, so. We need this. And then... We're going to need power, right? This is going to need power. This is free. And then we need to do that. This shouldn't be connected just because of how it works. So the steam engine generates power as you're moving. So I really just need the battery. That's actually going to be how we generate power, if you guys are wondering about that. And then we are not storing oxygen on this one. No, we should be, though. 
Uh, that might mean then I bop one suit. I'm actually fine with that. I'd be okay with that as well. That would be the uh, outputs uh, pocket that I want. All right, there we go. This is where we need to turn on the AQ. Otherwise, we're just going to have too much water. All right, pretty good. Let's cut this. How much water is this? Wow, okay. So this is going to be five. It's going to be like 90 kilograms per tile. We could add more. It's fine. We could always add more for the heat later as well. Alright, 500. That's 100 kilograms per tile, which is not bad. Alright, and I think we're good. The rest of this is just going to be uh, aqua tuned. And then this is going to be water for the insides, basically. Alright, so this doesn't line up. We're going to want to have that here. Gas pipelines coming in. Pretty good. This should be oxygen. Same on the other one. We're not going to use the gas canister for steam yet and do like a double drop. I mean, we don't have a location that requires that yet. This I'm probably going to avoid unless I need to go grab a puff or something. I don't think there's anything special there that we would need to grab. So that one's probably going to get avoided. All right. So this is just going to be an AQ line running off the solar panel power, which we have a lot of power. Shouldn't have to worry too much. It's about 190 watts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I guess we're using a little bit of power from some other things, which isn't too bad. Oh, this is in now. Nice. So we could do this. Our kitchen is powered now. So we're going to do that. That. And this. So all the gens are gone. Let's go. Not going to use coal anymore. Going to remove some of the power lines. And this is not... Oh. This is not connected. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. This isn't connected. Uh, how do I want to do this for now? I think we're going to do the wires a little weird. But I think it has to be. Like, there's nothing much we could really do. I'll probably have to do that transfer there. So I can't do that, right? No. Uh, yeah, I need the power right now. Let's see. I could do a hook here. That's probably not worth it, though. Hmm. How would this work? All right, for the time being, I think we'll just do this. I mean, we need to get a power line, right? And then we can figure it out later. This line is not active, so it's fine. We'll probably just do some shenanigans in a little bit. And I think what we'll have to do is this. That's going to be on a lower priority. And then this would probably pull down, pull out. And then we would just shift all the lines by one, which is fine. This would basically go up to here, and then this goes straight out, and then this goes under. Kind of like that. All right, that's fine. How's the rockets? Still not at a hot enough temperature. It's at 100 degrees, water's at 98 still trying to cool down all the water that's actually going to be how we generate steam take hot water cool it down all that heat you generate by cooling down the water add it to the water it's going to be steam ah we can't reach i don't know that's probably not a big deal though all right we'll put the ladder there just to fix that so inside the rocket we're going to have to have the gas intake and gas output all right so that's events i'll probably want to change this and then we're gonna do gas output on this side and then we are effectively just running that there is a power line though i need to be weary of oh right there yeah so we would cut that and then everything else is good nice speed this up 
generating steam. Oh, it's touching the cold pump. <laughs> oh, and it's condensing back down. Yeah, 97. 96. It's taking some time, but it'll get there. All right, now we're going to do the... While well, we're waiting for this to be built, right? We're going to do the Shine Bug Ranch. Okay, so we have Shine Bugs. Um, these are regular Shine Bugs. I actually... Oh, they're cramped, so we got to actually move out the eggs. Uh, for the time being, I might just do this. Just because this is a, effectively a menagerie design with the oil drop and no one's going to be able to leave. And then we're going to do a filter right here. Okay, so we need to do insane automation. I think we should run a floor shoot setup. Left side shoot. That's probably the simplest design. And then when we run the element sensor and then the only thing that's bad about this is that it requires uh... oh wow really this is the design wow yeah okay so yeah yeah, yeah. we run it like this here here and then all the way left and then we move up all the way to the right and we drop it off i should be able to stand on the doors to build everything up top and then i want the shoot here uh we're gonna sweep the eggs for now just to you know relocate them so they're no longer cramped This would probably be the simplest design for the shine bugs. There's no critter fort for the shine bugs, man. Feels bad. Feels bad, man. We got to get them one. We could leave this alone. Are you gonna harvest the shine bug radiation? No. We're we I mean we might have the shine bug radiation here, but we're not gonna do anything with it. Dude man. My dupes are gonna dupes are gonna take damage, dude. Shine bugs OP. Alright, so we wanna sweep that, push this up. Alright, dupes have something to do. Still vacuuming. Hey, what's going on, Matixo? How are you? Welcome in, welcome in. Ooh, what's the temperature now? So if you guys don't know about steam, there's an ideal temperature around 135 to 150. That's because when you move steam inside the pipeline, it's going to cool down. And if it becomes lower than 100, it's bad news. So a lot of the times you want to overheat your steam so that you could transport it in the pipeline. Uh, in tune. No, that's not it. Was that actually a problem? Maybe it was. All uh, right, a couple of guys are getting uh, hot here, and I think I might want to start moving out pips. I think we might have to put another location for the pips though, just because they're in a not a good spot right now. Hmm. I might make a menagerie just for the pips then. That's what I'm thinking. And it would be right here. Wouldn't even be that bad. I guess the question is, is do we want it? Because I need to move the pips to somewhere. The problem is, is that we're already dropping the critters here. <laughs> Makes me think they're going to drop the pips everywhere as well, which is going to be a problem. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're going to have to do it, right? How, how wide is this? 
64. Oh, this is bedroom size. All right, let's so move it a little bit up top then. Yeah, this is a bedroom potentially. I might want to have that, you know, be a bedroom. And then we'll need the oil drop. Not bad. Okay. So this actually got built pretty fast. We're going to want this. We're going to cut that. I thought it was going to take a lot longer than this. All right. So we may potentially also do a critter sensor here with an AND gate into the chute so that we have the maximum amount of critters here. And then everyone else goes into this room. That way we can make it a little bit easier for ourselves. Uh, another thing is, is that it's not automatic. I'm going to have to manually move them back is the small problem. Unless I want to do something like this. <laughs> That's going to be so jank. I probably don't want to do that. Because the problem about having this like that is the critter trap issue, right? Maybe I could have it floating instead. That's actually probably the strat. I just built this man. F. Alright, so if I do do the critter trap, we're going to need two space. And for this to make sense, we'll probably want to put it top left then. And then we do the element center on the rail again. And then that's automation again. And then that's the rail again. That way we put critter traps in here. I think that works out a lot better. All right, that's gonna be for these guys. What are your egg chances? So I need to feed you Gristleberry if we want you to uh, evolve, huh? Okay. We're going to make a, a Sun Nymph zone. It's going to be uh, basically how we're going to want to do this, right? All right, let them do the thing. How is this? Empty pipe 122. Okay, that's technically I want that to be a little warmer. So we're going to let the water out. All right, we'll leave the shine bugs alone for now. Seal 2 just self-vacuuming. That's fine. Okay, so this is ready. No, I don't have the intake. Gas intake valve, and then I need to cut the line here. Water is in. This is almost ready. All right, so got to remove that. Got to do the telescope. Need a little bit more heat here. Everything is connected. And then I guess all it is is just, yo, that's police, man. Holy heck. Got to wait for them to drive away. All right, all right. So uh, should be fine. I do want to start getting more oxygen in here. The line is connected. So I guess we just need the intake for that to work. All right, so that way we can actually try to store oxygen. Let's try to limit the amount to about 1,000. That's too much. Solar panel below is fireflies not happening. I don't have space. Oh, this is very unbreathable. I didn't realize that. Oh, wow. Maybe we relocate some oxygen today. Maybe that's what we got to do. I don't have a line to the back, and I feel like I really should. This line, huh? Okay. I guess we could do it like that. Nah, I'd probably partially expose it. And then run it off the left. Yeah, that's probably not bad. And then we basically relocate this line. 
so that we could use this line for a little bit of uh, spacing. That's not bad. And then we get some vents here. And then effectively this line gets relocated because we wouldn't go up here anymore. That wouldn't be too bad. I might want to expand this a little bit down to get some more gas flow. And then on this side, I would want these two to be my vents. Uh, yeah, we'll do it like this. Pretty good. And I think we would go through here. Not bad. From here, I think we go into here, though. Take over the line, so we wouldn't need this here. And then we might have a couple of vents over here. So if this is here, I'll probably do here and here. Realistically. I think that would be a separate line, though. Because this would come up, and then this would come down here, I think. That's probably fine, though. Hopefully not a lot of people go up through that vent line. And then the other pumps would be more active as a result. I know this pump could be more active. Hasn't been active or been pushing in a while. Should be okay, though. Alright, speed this up. How are we over here? Oh, a little bit too much water. Uh, that's going to be here. Alright, let's see how hot this gets. 130. It's taking some time, but it's getting there. A lot of water, though. Oh, dude. Oh, it's fine. He's fine. You could use solar panels as floor. No, you could. You could. I just don't want to do it. The base of the solar panel is technically a floor. Right. Right here. It's technically a floor. Alright, so we don't have the element sensor set up yet, but it's okay. These guys are going to be good. And then we got to do this. So we got to remove this, and then we got to empty that. And then we got to start moving the pips to here. Oh, I don't have a way of getting the pips inside. I see. Uh, that's interesting. I don't have a way of automatically moving the pips out, huh? Okay. So how would I want to do this? I can't auto wrangle focus. Yeah, because uh, maximum size. Uh, critter drop off in the wild is probably not going to work anymore because we're at a uh, large, large size right now. All right, still vacuuming. That's fine. Hmm, I'm actually curious now. How do I want to do this? So the shine bugs, um, you know, it's almost done. So I'm not really thinking about it anymore. But the pips are the biggest problem because they're cramped right now. I want to try to make it so that they're not cramped. That way we could make sure we could take care of them. So I think... Okay, we could mop this now. We could do a extra drop-off in here. And I guess it just comes down to how I need to set this up. Because that means... This is weird. Ah, oh, man. Realistically, we just move them out into a box, right? I would need two sweepers for this room. <laughs> That's fine. Just in case. All right, shared in the middle. 
that's technically here and here. Oh, I need two for the top as well. That sucks. Uh, does it mean more eggs? It allows you to ranch more critters, is effectively what it does. Maybe I shouldn't use this, and I just use dupe labor. That could be the easy setup as well. So what critter, the critter house, is literally plus one happiness. Now, plus one happiness in this game does not really mean much. It just means that you're able to fit more critters into that space. Happiness doesn't really increase anything because the tameness plus uh, bonus reproductive value is a flat value. That means if you satisfy the requirement, you're always going to have it. It means that the increase in happiness doesn't do anything for the amount of eggs you get in the long term. Now, that being said, it still does increase your overall egg count because what it does is this room, right? It's effectively your normal hatch ranch. You 96 tiles, you have this setup here. This means you get eight hatches. With the cruder condo, this means that you could actually increase this number to nine. That's all that means. That's all that means. So instead of ranching eight critters per room, you could ranch nine instead. And that's because the critter condo gives them a cozy buff. Right? He's going to be getting cozy. And once he's cozy, he's going to get plus one happiness. Now, what does this do? This basically allows you to overcrowd because overcrowding is a penalty to happiness. The critter condo allows you to kind of wash off part of it. Since there was a change recently with the ranching, it's actually kind of nice now. But for the most part, uh, if you're not too familiar with it, the only thing you have to think about is that you just get more ranching. Outside of that, it doesn't really improve much. So it's really only going to affect you if you like to min-max designs. If you don't and you just play normally, it doesn't really affect you. Everything is more or less the same. You don't need to build it. it doesn't increase that much. All right, so now we got to do the setup. Uh, the design would be... Oh, the problem I have is I'm going to infinite loop, right? I guess we do the same thing here. Except we make one for pips. Can you stack the houses or it's one per stable? It's one per stable. It's the same buff, so it overrides itself. How do I say that properly? It doesn't, it's not that it overrides itself, but it's like, um, it's the same buff. So it's sharing the cooldown, if that makes sense, right? So if he has the buff, he's not going to be using it. So if you have two houses, it's not going to do anything. All right, so we need to do a drop-off design like the bottom. So this means one thing. This door is locked. Uh, for the memes, we'll put a critter condo inside. Just so that they could have a nice little setup. I want to get them the critter fountain too. We don't have Bracken growing yet. All right, so now we need to do the drop-off design. Uh realistically i could do two but it should be a double door setup like that that could be the play And then all of the pips will move manually. I guess we'll have to just manage that like that. Otherwise, I'm just going to be dropping pips everywhere, and I wouldn't like that. All right, so that's going to be this setup. Damn, that's a little boring. Yeah. I mean, you, you could tell, though, that the ranching is, is trying to be improved on. Like, they're balancing it. That balance patch was more so to all right so i think 
the critter condo, the critter fort, was more or less kind of like something to give us for the ranching because they made it so that the Paku ranches in the same patch this got released, all the Pakus got bopped. <laughs> so because of that, I think that's the reasoning why, right? So they wanted to give you something to interact with the critters. That's kind of cool. But yeah, that same patch made it so that your one tank or one tile Paku tank no longer works. It was supposed to, I, I want to say it's supposed to be like, you know, hey, here's something to kind of like ease the pain, as they would say. All right, Camille, get out of here. Stop idling in the bad zone. All right, so now we have settings. So it's our wind fed. That's it. All right, who are our ranchers, man? Our wind fed. David. All right, well, let's go to skills, actually. Arwen fed David, Ari, Nikola. Ari, Nikola. All right. So we'll change this list. David gets in. Ari, the rocket pilot. And who else was it? Nikola. All right, so this is bed, Ari. Nicola. Where's David at, man? There he is. All right, so that's going to be our set. So this is going to be copied to here. And this is going to be copied to here. All right, now this is going to be critter eggs. We're going to do all pips. Pips, cuddle pips. Priority nine, copy paste. And then we're going to move all the random pips back into here because this is a cuddles only. The regular pips are going to get moved. And then the bottom is... Uh, we're not going to move them to the bottom because I don't have the third tree yet. And I think we're going to do six pips because I can't afford to keep all of them fed. <laughs> oh, he just farted. This little guy. All right, let's move this guy to here. All right, the eggs are there. So this guy is trapped. Yes, this one tile traps the pips. Everything. This one tile set up like this in exactly this format and everything else is locked. This stops literally every critter that... Uh, can't walk a, if you could walk a wall and fly you get stopped the only thing that could go past this is aquatic critters but since you move it up top and they can't jump up there you're actually you know safe with everything this is pretty good it's pretty good all right that's fine we got the milk thing as well to get more critters in a ranch i reckon it'd be possible to get 14 or 40 or so cuddle pips in a stable ranch honestly yeah cuddle pips they're down to four tiles each so in 96 tiles that means you would get uh 19 pips in there with the bracken and the fort and you're grooming them I want to say that is 27 pips because the happiness scale isn't proportional, right? Because the happiness, this allows you one extra critter regardless of how much extra size they take. And I think that's what it is. So it's like size in the beginning, but on the second half of it, it's purely looking at um, just happiness value. So I think it's like closer to like 27. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. But I want to say it's a little bit less than 40. 40 is a lot. <laughs> 40 is a lot. All right. Did we ever get another Arbor Acorn? We did not. I'm waiting for one more. I am not allowing them to harvest this. I'm waiting for the pips. But I don't think they will do it. All right. So let's look at our rockets. Ooh, this is 190. Oh my god. I got this a little bit too hot. I'm not even mad though. All right. We can start pumping in steam. Good stuff. Oh, we're moving in oxygen now. All right, that's fine. As long as we're moving the O2. 
And the O2 here is looking nice. Ooh. Uh... All right, we are going to cut this. This goes up. No, actually, this goes here. And I cut this part. There we go. And then this comes out here, 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 here. And then we're going to do this. And then these two. But then we're going to cut this from here. We're going to have another vent line here, most likely. And then I need to connect that, I think, here. And then it would be like that. Clean vent line. And then everything else is going to be removed. And then we'll just connect this for this oxygen right here. Alright, not bad. Okay, now steam rockets. I really need to get the scanning rocket up, so we'll do this right now ASAP. I need to get oxygen in here too, that's another important thing. Uh, this is at a thousand, and it's still going up? God damn, okay. I really need to manually control this. Alright, we need to build this out, so priority nine. We need to go in here, priority nine, nice. Need to get some water. Insulated pipeline, let's go. Okay, so that just needs to be connected. We're just going to manually count 10 bubbles. That's about 12, 14. Alright, that could flow backwards then, that's fine. Okay, so this is in, nice. So, this is here gas output, and then we need telescope. Okay. So there's another thing we're going to need in here. And it's going to be for the memes. Uh, I think I actually removed this, right? Because of what I need this to do. And it's because of the type of telescope it is that it's kind of a problem. Wait. Uh, no, yeah, I should. Realistically, I should. And then... Yeah, I'll put the vent here. That makes the most sense, actually. Alright, so let's go priority 9. Alright, so it's gonna be here. And then we're gonna put... Oh, no, not that. Oh, this is wrong. Uh, we want this like this. There we go. So I could cut this from the side and still go out to the vent here. All right, we need the airflow like this. Oh, I bopped the pipes. Aw, oh, man. All right, mop this up, boys. I was wondering what was going on with that. All right, copper here so we could climb up to the top. And then we're going to get two suit lines. These are just going to be docks. And then we're going to get a vent line below the airflow. And our setup is going to be like this. It looks weird, but I need to be able to disconnect each line at will, and then, uh, you know, just do everything. Alright, so then from here, we just need a little bit of power. This is a small wire. Alright, and then we're just going to go like that. Oops, that's incorrect. It's going to go like that. And the reasoning why is because I need to be able to disconnect this line in order to uh, stop the flow of gas. So why are there's a wire already? I need that to be a separate connection. All right, on this side, it should be fine. No more oxygen's coming in. There is no vent line. Okay, so that's going to be this. This is just in case I want to delete CO2 by using the glitch. So I want to set that up like so. Now we gotta do the steam. We're gonna do the right side first. Okay, that's gonna be a power. Oh, it's not connected. There we go. All right, so since we're on DLC, we actually wanna fill it to max each and every time. All right, we'll check that out soon. Make sure this is fine. And we have a printout. Take the glass. 
we're gonna have to fill this with water soon, so I think we'll do this now. And then... Yeah, I might want to remove these power wires very soon so that we get our Paku Ranch right here. This is going to be the Pakus coming in from the um, printing pot every so often, right? This is sweep only water, pee water. Yeah, it's fine. This is going to be water auto bottle. We'll just put one. Eventually, it's going to catch up. And I think the CO2 might become a problem. We'll have to delete that later. Slugs are chilling. All right, eggs are out. There's a little baby pip, though, that's lost. And then we're waiting for another uh, Arbor Acorn seed for these guys. Polluted oxygen cleaned. Nice. Yoda risers for the win. All right. 87. All right, so this is going to be our scanning rocket, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's no power yet. That's fine. Oh, there's no power yet. Um, that's potentially a problem. Holy crap. Uh, dang. How do I want to deal with that? Oh, ultimate meme strat time. Is it actually my time with the ultimate memes? Dude, I'm going to do this connection. <laughs> I'm actually going to do that connection. It's going to be jank. Oh, I can't reach this side. Okay, so we got to cancel this. And we got to do it like this. And then I can't reach that, so I need this ladder here. All right, construction. We're doing this today. It's nighttime. All right, we're doing this tomorrow. Why don't your dupes take the meat out of the pit branch? Where is it? Where is it? Oh! Are my dupes- Oh! I never connected the power to the kitchen. No! Thank you for pointing that out, Abductor. I forgot to re-plug in the kitchen. Oh, shit. How long has that been like this? I forgot to plug in the kitchen, boys. They, they haven't had power. So that means the loader is unpowered, and they can't actually take items to it. Oh! <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Hopefully nothing's in the rail that's having a bad time. That would suck if there's an item here that's looping or it's stuck. All right, so gas. That's a vacuum. That's a vacuum. Just want to make sure it didn't break. Thank you, Abductor. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right, they're going to move everything now. It's going to be fine. Wait, these are not allowing manual use? This is not allowing manual use? Wait, what? Why? Why is this not allowing manual use? How do I still have 800,000 calories? What the heck? <laughs> how, I, how have I been generating food if this didn't allow food to be delivered via dupes? That's really weird. I guess I've been just sweeping it on the kitchen. Delivered to the grill after they finish cooking. Yeah, this is empty. Holy crap. We have no raw ingredients. I honestly don't know how that happens. That's really weird. Well, it is what it is. I can't be mad about that. It's okay. We still have calories. All right. So the steam engine's a problem now. So I need to do this. And then we have to cut this line. So this right here has to get, uh, you know, effectively, we have to uh, take care of that. Oh, oh, I haven't moved the new oxygen line out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so my, my uh, rockets haven't been getting O2. That's kind of bad. Okay, so that's going to be oxygen. Now we have this line that I need to add some O2 in. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so we are going to do... Hmm. All right, we'll reconnect this for now like this. And then...
that is something I'm potentially thinking about doing. That could be kind of nice. I do want to get rid of the CO2 line, though. Oh, and this goes out to the other planet as well. Okay, we're going to need some uh, lines here, then. Alright, let me get this line. That's going to go out to the other side of the map. We'll set that up so we can remove this line right here. This is a CO2 line, so, you know, we'll keep it there for now. I want to use some of the other lines, so it's either... Well, this one's the same line, actually. Oh, and I could actually do that? Not really. So, I think what that means is... We'll try to do something like this. And then what we'll do is, right here, we'll have to bridge. This line is a different line. And then we have the bottom line that's different. Okay. All right, that should be fine. Actually, I need to do this, right? So, it's this one. And then it's this one right here. Once this is built, we could actually make the adjustment. Nice. And then now we could merge. So this is going to give us more oxygen overall. Because we're going to be merging the line instead of just taking from here. So this is two lines. This is going to be one. And then we're going to cut this line here. So that it's no longer splitting at the end. That way we get more to the top. And then we'll take a separate line here that goes into the other side. We get to do this. Gas pipe. There we go. Alright, should be good. Oh, now we are over pumping. This got filled up as well. That's tough. Alright, we're going to do this. And cut the line. Cut that. We have to dump the steam. Otherwise, my pipes will eventually take damage. That's not a good thing. All right, so there's no power here, and we have 98 kilograms of oxygen. That's almost nothing. That's rather tough. All right, so right now the solar panels are generating power. We're going to do this, and then I'm going to cut the line. So my solar panels are only powering the battery. Uh, let me cut this one so we only charge one. So hopefully we get most of the power here. So we'll do that for a little bit of time, just so that we can get power for the inside. And that way, any oxygen that wants to come out gets to come out. There we go. Oxygen inside, oxygen for the suits. Into here, we need to fill it up. There we go. Get some oxygen inside, so there's heat transfer. So we need all that to happen. And then we need oxygen to come in. Oh, the bridge. All right, we do need to get the suits topped off, so that's probably okay. Speed this up. This means that we'll work inside for a little bit. Okay, so let's work on the shine bugs. I think the pips are okay. We're waiting for an R break. I should probably actually look that up. Clear, new. I don't need to look at shine bugs, primo garb. Uh, Apple suits doesn't matter anymore. Brian doesn't matter. Cobalt doesn't matter. This is... Yeah, we'll look at this and then we'll add in acorn all right i need to monitor this the moment we get one we need a planet right okay that'd be fine so that's gonna be him oh we got our first little shine up all right so these guys let's look at the foods we're gonna have to grow so this guy eats gristle berries and it evolves right so that's this guy Gristleberry. Okay. We're actually growing that. We have one. Uh, so that means it's here, right? So we need to make sure the dupes don't eat that. <laughs> this sucks, man. Alright, you can't eat this, boys. Somehow the shine bugs have priority. You hate to see that kind of thing happen. Uh, let's see... 300 k cows. They're just eating phosphorite. All right, that's gonna go down to here. This is going to be how big is this? 37. That's three. 
three critters, and these are going to be shine bugs, shine nymphs. All right. This is going to be three. And then we're going to put sun bugs. But I guess you guys are fine. All right, priority nine, priority nine. This is out of seven that copied over. All right, so this is going to be put uh, one kilogram at a time of gristleberry. I'm hoping this works because effectively this means that we keep only one gristleberry at a time and I'm hoping it doesn't rot. <laughs> All right, these are all shine nymphs. Oh, there's a sun nymph egg. Um, let's not check that yet. Did we did we take out the gristle berry? Did I just see it fall? Oh, I did. Dude, sacrifice had to be made. Feels bad. All right, someone move it back up top, please. All right, once the sun nymph hatches, we'll pull it out, and then we'll set that up here. All right, shine bugs, sun bugs, and then once we get a sun nymph, we will see what influences this egg chance for the third evolution, which is going to be the coral bug. Oh, it's a pretty color already. All right, we'll take this. This is likely going to be mushrooms. Oh, snap. Am I going to have to grow mushrooms? I mean, we have a little bit of slime. I might actually have to, yeah. Dude, that's actually kind of wild. Um, all right, we'll make a mushroom farm. I guess we need it. Wow, we need a mushroom farm. Okay, so we need a very dark space. And we're going to make some mushrooms in that area. Shine bugs like half the chat. Dude, they eat everything. But I, from my experience, like taming them and managing them is not that bad. It's not that bad in my experience. And what I mean when I say that is, is that, uh, like, I was able to get every form of the evolution in one stream. So I wasn't, like, really too worried about that. Abductor, thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging out. And, of course, hope you have a good one. Wrestle rest easy. And we'll see you next time, buddy. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for the help again, man. All right, so this has power. Little bit of oxygen. Oh, I need to get suits inside. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, we really just need the oxygen. Alright, so we're pumping hard. This line could help out, I guess. But it's filling up. I think we'll be okay. Alright, so we're going to need mushrooms for these guys. I'll shine them still. We need to find a decent location. Seal 2 is right here. And I forgot what this was. Oh, this is chlorine. Another chlorine geyser. Okay. Mm, let's see. If I do this and I do that, that technically is fine. All right, we're going to do this. Looks kind of weird, but we're going to line this up right here. And we're going to make a small mushroom ranch. Mushroom ranch. Mushroom farm. Very, very simple design. Nothing too crazy. Oh, they can't reach. That's fine. All right, we'll do that. Plug slugs are chilling. The pips are fine. We didn't get a new acorn. All right, that means we can't really do too much. And I think this means that we have to go do the Metal Volcano Tamer right now. All right, let's get that ready. That's going to be in this rocket. Okay, telescope suits, food, that's fine. Plastic in the bins, yep. All right, so we're going to get two bins. Uh, should be pretty good. And we're going to start bringing out the resources we need. So we are going to this planet and we're going to be taming the gold volcano. We'll probably pick up the arbor coin if we find one. And then, uh, yeah, this is going to be what we want to tame. So lucky for us, we know what we need. We would need 
let's see, I think it's two tons of steel, because it's 200, 200, 1200. That's what, 16? We have 400 kilograms remaining. What else would we need? Sweeper, loader, aqua tuner, uh, conveyor shutoff. So that's seven. I have 300 remaining. I wouldn't use steel for the rail. It's just gold, right? I'm not actually worried about that. Yeah, so that'd be enough. Two tons of steel. And then we're going to need refined metal. I guess we'll send in iron and then maybe a little bit of lead for the wires. Okay, that'll be the play. All right, so two tons of steel. Uh, we'll just manually move plastic in here because it's just going to be trace amounts. Uh, we're going to need iron, metal, ore, or, well, refined metal. Let's go with... 2,000 of that. I have no power source here, right? Isn't that the problem? There is no power source here. Oxalite meteors. Hmm. This actually means that... I could try to do solar panels. Yeah. Solar panel power would be top tier. Or how much glass do we have? Okay, we have a decent amount. I'm not even mad. Yep, took a little bit of damage there. Uh, we're not going to grab data banks with this anymore. So I think we might just bop this. That's going to be our free plastic, by the way. Hmm. Do I really not need... No, I might. Yeah, great monument, right? All right, we're going to get rid of the telescope instead. Yeah, we're going to put it back. Plastic's fine. No, we'll put the bin with the plastic back. And then once this is going to put more bins so that we get exactly what we need automatically on the storage bin layout... So 2k iron, what would I need? So I need 800 for the steam turbine, right? And then we need 200 for a smart battery. Well, I don't think we have smart batteries in this. And then what will we do? I guess we put a couple jumbos by the steam turbine just because we have space. And then how do I want to do this? Lead wires. Yeah, 2K should be fine. I don't think we would have any problems with that. If anything, there might be some transformer stuff that we might do. In which case, 2K is fine. All right, we got the plastic here. We should be good. These are priority. Oh, these are not even priority nine. All right, let's build these. So what else do we need? Glass, lead. Lead, let's put in 25, just a little bit more. Just because the wires are pretty cheap, right? So I would get 100 segments of lead wire. Okay, let's go up to 5,000. <laughs> you never know, man. All right, glass is 200 per solar panel. Yeah, all right. I think we'll... We probably don't need... Well, how much Lux value do we actually get here? Dude, 30,000? This is garbage. Oh, this is doo-doo, dude. This is not good. So if you guys didn't know, Lux value has to get over 35 for you to even hit max output for one second. The fact that we only hit 30 means we never hit max output. So that means my solar panels will never give me maximum power that's listed. So even though it says 380, I never actually get there. Because it's up to that value. How do I know that? My solar panels back at home are the same thing. 30,000. <laughs> yep. And we are, yeah, around 250, 240 max. That's how much we generate. Just because we don't get the extra uh, Lux value. 
It actually makes a difference. It's kind of tough. Okay, so we need to grab a dupe. I do want to get up to 36 dupes, potentially. Just because that speeds up everything. Having more dupes do things that's kind of nice. I do have like five ranchers. I don't know if I need more than that. Potent I mean, I have more if I just give them the skill. All right, we're going to take Burt Reynolds. Heard this guy used to be a news anchor or something. Okay, we got that. Water's kind of hot. Still cycling through. Maybe I should bring some petroleum and start looping that. Maybe. We could actually start doing that. Uh, we have no ice. Dude, I'm going to start sending ice, man. No, it's going to freeze these guys. Actually, that wouldn't be bad. Uh, let's go here. Let's start selecting ice. Liquifiables, regular ice. Dude, 12 tons. Looks like a lot of the ice hasn't melted yet. I guess we could just mine a big chunk of ice at the same time. Oh yeah, we were supposed to like bop this or something. Yeah, spill this out. Just water. Just water. Can't complain. And then there was fossil here that I was thinking about. Let's do the diamond, though. Give my dupe something to do. They're really just doing the oil well stuff and the petroleum stuff. Oh, we need to send back a suit. Did we send it back? Worn suit should be selected, and it is. Alright, that means I need to send back a... Ice is coming. I need to send back a clean suit. Alright, that's going to be here. One kilogram clothing, Atmos suit. Sweep only. Yeah, Atmos suit. Allow manual use. We'll just wait for that. Okay, so how are we over here on the oxygen? Still not even filled. Alright, we'll wait for that. Oh, that means I need a second pilot. L Gamer and Ari. Uh... Ari has three skill. Yo, George is a stud. Oh, dude, we're sending George. I forgot how much of a stud George is. Dude, George is a stud, man. Holy crap. I forgot how much of... Dude, look at those stats. If you guys didn't know, George is base value 7 to every attribute. And then some of the other ones are randomly generated above that value. So you can see that we're 7 on everything, and then 8 ranching, 8 medicine, 9 athletics, 8 machinery, 9 piloting. George has never drove a rocket, yet his piloting skill is top tier, right? Being like that sometimes. Too easy, welcome in. But quantity output, yes, no. Uh, what are we talking about? I lost my train of thought. I'm not actually sure what the question is. <laughs> Feels bad. Do you have any um, traits that don't allow you to do anything? charismatic uncultured can't do decorating that's fine yeah we could do that that's fine dude look at this ranching specialty ah uh but quantity times output yes no solar panels wait 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 wait, wait, wait. quantity times output what do you like what's the, i'm not sure what the question is But quantity slash output, yes, no solar panels. I, I'm not exactly sure I know what the question is. Yes, okay. Geek got it. Thank you, Geek. I'm still learning how to speak the English using the Rosetta Stone. Be like that sometimes. Even though my first language is also English. They don't think be like it is, man, but it do. Sometimes, man, it still be like that. Alright, Pips a chillin'. We need to get the seed over there. And then we're setting the ice over, right? All right, so I guess we could just pitcher pump from the side. 
so one, two. That's the most I could do it. I guess that's fine, though. Do you know any other languages? I can't speak in a normal environment. I, I, I know, like... Man, it's like, come on, man. I could say Miyamo is too legit. It doesn't mean I know how to speak Spanish, you know? Right? So wh when I say I could speak a language, I'm talking about like, I could sit down and have a conversation about anything. I can't do that with any other language. Like, if I go to like a, f you know, a uh, Mexican food establishment, whether it's like fast food or sit down, I could attempt to order and they'll somewhat understand. But I don't actually like have the ability to comprehend. Like they'll say something and I'd be like, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm just not in my head. Like, no. So I, I, I can't really say I do. Just because I don't meet the requirement for my own kind of like, you know, <laughs> I wouldn't call that being able to converse. All right, we probably don't need that much ice. We'll stop that. Thanks, Geek. Uh, my thoughts didn't come out that way. Each one will produce less than the value on the uh, list, but having two whatever values, you get value X too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Generators are standalone. They're the the solar panels are standalone. So although they're all generating the same amount of power, two sixteen point two five, it's individually. So it's 216, 432, 648, uh, you know, and so on, so on, so on. And just keep adding the values. I was a little bit confused. Shout out to the Geek Man. I used to wipe the board sometimes. <laughs> I see it too easy. I see you over there. All right, so I think this is it. Um, who are we sending? And whoever we send, we can make it back, right? Yeah, we have food. We'll be fine. We'll send one person, I think, to get it started. So this is going to be George, because George is a stud. So why not send George, right? So crew... Oh, I didn't give him piloting skill. George, George, George. George, 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 George. You're going to... Oh, look at that. Has the interest. One point, buddy. Let's go. He doesn't have ranching. We'll give that to him, though. All right, so George, 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 no L gamer, and then we're flying to here, and then we have the steam. Yep, we should be good. Have the food. We need to make George's allow to eat the preserves. George, you, can you eat this? Are you on the list? Why aren't you on the list? All right, now he's on the list. All right, so we are effectively good. 2,000, 5,000, 2,000, 2,000, 1,000, a little bit of food, oxygen in the suits, oxygen here, five kilograms. Oh, dude, I accidentally have popped eardrums. My bad, y'all. All right, it's fine either way. Crew change here and launch. Let's go. So we're still sending oxygen into here. This is going to be the scanning rocket. I believe this was supposed to be El Gamer. Because Ari does not know how to use a telescope. That guy needs to go to uh, go to school, dude. Yeah, he doesn't know how to use a telescope, man. Can't send him out there. Your drum's gone. It is Team George. Yeah, man, it's George, buddy. George of the Jungle. The problem is that you pretend that English is a language when in fact it's really three languages and a trench coat hanging out looking to mug other languages for loose grammar. Yo, man. All I gotta say is it is what it is. Oh, I'm just trying to make sense of everything, man. Mrs. Easy, man. She's hungry. She's just chilling, though. You ever been hungry and just don't know what to eat? They're so just standing there in front of the fridge. That's Mrs. Easy right now. She's like, yo, man, that kind of looked good, but you know, man, I don't want to eat that right now. I'll check again in 10 minutes. <laughs> I'll check again in 10 minutes. Sometimes, you know, in 10 minutes time, you change your mind. Dude, this is still not a vacuum. All right, it'll get there. Did we launch? We did. Nice. She chillin', she is. All right, so on this one, we're out of power, but I'm not really too mad. 
that means we're now stockpiling the oxygen, which I can't complain. So we'll let her do that, and then we'll be ready to go soon. So uh, let's do a quick check. Where is a location? I think we'll have a planet. This one is potential. This one is potential. And then it's these two. Honestly, this one's very likely. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. This is perfect. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this is it. I'm almost 100% sure I think this is going to be a planet. I feel like it's going to be this one. So I think we're going to go out this way. Five tiles and then scan. That's going to be the first job we do. I could also double launch. But no, I think we're just going to go five, five. All right, we just need to make sure we have enough oxygen to survive the trip. No, man, dude, it's, it's going to be fine. It's going to be okay. I told it to a language professor once who hung her head and told me, you have no idea how right you really are. <laughs> the linguists. I see you guys over there. Give more tidying duties. Oh, I see you. Okay. We'll, we'll try to do our best with that. All right, where do we have a lot of debris? Right here. Let's go, boys. It's time to clean. <laughs> At the request of Too Easy, y'all have to sweep everything. God damn. And I'm saying everything. At the request of Too Easy, man. Y'all know who to thank. <laughs> y'all know who to thank. All right, speed this up. We're going to grow some mushrooms right now while we're setting up the other stuff. Oh, are the sun bugs alive? Dude, everyone here is a shine bug. No one here is a sun bug. What is this? All right, let's move a couple of them down to the bottom. There should be three in here, right? Just trying to make sure we have enough. Or is it going to be swept? Do you have infinite storage? I do. It's right here. All my items are on this one tile. There are many tiles like this, but this one holds every item in the game. And just like that, my dupes are able to sweep endlessly with no regard for infinite space, as they know they have it. They don't think it be like it is, but it do. And it really do be like that, though, sometimes. I just hate to see it. This one's fighting, and this one's for fun. Uh, it should be good, should be good. Speed this up. Alright, so... 350. I'm actually curious what's the rate at which the telescope actually consumes oxygen. It doesn't have a set consumption rate, so that must mean that it's the same rate at which it do breeds. Okay, so that means that it's going to be 60 kilograms per cycle. Okay, so let's go for about 600. So we have 10 cycles. That's probably pretty fair. That's probably pretty fair that we could assume, uh, you know. 600 kilograms for this. And then we have suits inside, so we have a buffer to make it back home. You had a specific candence that reminded me of the line from the movie. Oh, was it Goodwill Hunting? <laughs> was it the movie Goodwill Hunting? I can't imagine anything else. Nope. Ah, uh, snap. Be like that sometimes. Alright, and 50. Full metal jacket. Okay. Was it full metal jacket? Full metal jacket. Oh, man. Yo, man. You know it's a normal day when Too Legit doesn't get the pop culture references. Now right, we're going to cut that line. All right. And it's time. Crew. We're going out five tiles. And... Oh, oh wait. Nope. Nope. That's not true. I forgot to bring food. 
Uh, this guy is going to be 10 kilograms. We don't know how long he's going to be out there. Give him the preserves. Give him the food first. I almost forgot about that. There's toilet water, right? Yeah, there is. There's oxygen inside. Two spare suits. Got to get some food and we'll be fine. I guess we could still keep the oxygen. Pump it in while we're waiting for the food. I forgot about the food. All right. So if we do lip, liquid lock, and then I need nine tiles. Okay. So this means that it's going to be like this. Okay, I could see that. And then we're going to need a ladder here. And then we're going to mine this and then make our box. All right, that's going to be nice. No, no, no. George already has food. He's chill. Oh, he's on the planet too. Damn, he got there fast. Dude, George really knows how to drive, man. He got there ASAP, dude. That's impressive. All right, no holdbacks. Can we get a suit swap, George? All right. Good suit swap. Good suit swap. All right, now we're outside. So what we need to do is set this up, set that up. Oh, George doesn't have digging skill. We got to give that to George. George, the homie, gets the digging skill. Let's go. Good thing we didn't have uh, obsidian here. Don't have to dig that out. All right, so it's going to be... This is a trap, if you guys didn't know. This is five wide. So what we need to do is we need to figure out where is the active tiles. So we know this is three wide. So this is a fake tile. To verify, we're going to look for another volcano. Or another geyser that has that same design. So we don't have one on here. This is a volcano, right? Yes, okay, so this is the same type of uh, asset. All right, so it's a right side tile. Okay, it's good to know. That means that we know which tile I need to keep. That is this tile. So we need to keep that tile, and then the rest are going to be bots. All right, we're going to mine this, mine that, mine that. And we're going to mine all of this. The pips are going to be there. They really shouldn't be. And we're also going to want to stagger. We're staggering so that the items fall straight down. And I don't want to sweep them later. That's realistically why that's there. So suit, don't go down this way. We're going to have the ladder. So that usually means I'm going to want to do this. All right, he's going to do his thing. All right, did we get the food? Did we get the food? We did. Let's go. All right, we're filled. 150. Launch. This is going to be uh, L Gamer, right? He got the suits. Yeah, we're adding oxygen and it's fine. Is Abe free? Do I have a free Abe? Let me check. Hey, Sador, welcome in. I see you over there. How are you? Welcome in, welcome in. Wait, is that an Abe? Gotcha, gotcha. Nah, nah, if you want him to take it out, just ask. Dude, he is not the big Lebowski, dude. Leave him alone. He's fine, man. He just wants to have some coffee with some vodka. He's trucking. I see you too easy. I've never reached rockets. Is it hard? Um, It depends if you're playing DLC or base game. There is, is a big difference between the base game and the DLC. Oh, we actually have a free Abe, yeah. And his name is actually just Abe. So in the DLC, it's a lot easier because it's a lot more intuitive. They made it so that you don't actually have to calculate anything. In the base game, though, not the DLC. I was just talking about the DLC right now. The base game is very convoluted. They try to make it as real as possible, which is the problem. The problem in the base game is that they make it so that your calculation is a floating value. And what I mean when I say that is, is that the equation constantly changes because when you add fuel, you're adding mass. So every time you're adding in rocket fuel, you're affecting two separate variables for the amount of fuel and the amount of weight you have. Both of those actually affect total distance. 
So you have this weird convoluted formula that you kind of have to intuitively kind of know. And that's kind of the problem. So, yeah. I would say that in this game is easy. All you would want to do is fill up your rocket tank so you have max fuel and you go with maximum distance. And then you don't have to think about it, right? Versus the base game, you want to hit a sweet spot. It could be 60%, 70%, 80% of the rocket fuel. Because the graph of the rocket fuel looks like this. Right? You have your graph right here. Rocket fuel is when you add mass... This is how it is. So a lot of the times you want to hit the sweet spot value. And sometimes um, that's hard to really figure out. Just because it's it's like you need a spreadsheet for that. Oops, that's the wrong thing. But yeah, in the DLC it's a lot easier. I would say that you wouldn't really need a guide. While a guide would help, it would be uh, pretty intuitive though, regardless. Alright, this guy... All right, so we are going to do tile, tile, tile. This is going to be a ladder. Actually, no. We're going to mine up top. This, this, and this. So all the items up top fall down so that I don't have to uh, clean it up later. These little pipsqueaks, man. Little cutie pies. Parabola Plus. Yep, plastic pixel bell curve is the content I'm here for. Yo, man. I'm happy that people know that was a bell curve. <laughs> Shout out to chat. Shout out to chat for knowing. All right, so we're going to do the normal. Oh, who's trapped? It's you. You're not trapped. You just don't have any jobs. Okay, so let's actually figure out the design. So I want to do a maximum, uh, maximum design. So I'll probably want to just seal this up, but then I want to see what's the range here. So nine is up to here, and then this is four, so that's not good. So that means if I want to do the design, I have to go inside a little bit. So if I maximize here, and this is nine on this side, I get here. Okay, so I don't have to go all the way. Okay, that's not bad. So we'll probably want to do uh, this design. Let's set that up, and then we would need this, that, and then it would be here. And then it's going to be 9, so it goes out like this. Alright, so this is going to be in the center. That's not too bad, and then I want this as well. That means a lot of the items up top we're going to have to sweep out, but it's fine. And I'm probably going to want to put a dispenser just to move up items a little easier soon. All right, there we go. Wait, did we name Abe? Yes, Abe is here. Okay, I can't click on him. We got to go back. Our geek. It's time. Geek, would you like the new outfit we got the other day? The newest outfit that we got. Sure, alright. That is the ballet tutu. It's time, boys. We got the full set. We gotta get him some matching uh, shoes and gloves, though. Alright. Let's see. Blue, purple, yellow green, orange, red. Yellow. I don't have... I don't have... Pink, I, I do have bubblegum shoes. I don't have the gloves, though. I don't want to give you long gloves. That don't make sense, man. We'll give you the grape gloves. We'll give you the strawberry ones. We'll give you the blueberries. Oh, the suit's pink. Yeah, it is. It is. All right, so we're going to give you the yellows, because that matches. Oh, you're a balloon artist? All right, we're going to get the yellow balloons to match the gloves. 
Let's go. That's a great outfit. It looks nice, man. I honestly, man, I want to get all the clothes. <laughs> I don't know if it's weird. I want to get all the clothes for the dupes, man. I really do. The pink special. I didn't want the long gloves, though. Dude, this room's going to be a nightmare. <laughs> this room's going to be a nightmare. Because I don't have... Uh... I need to look through later for the sun nymphs. And then I have to look through for all the variations. <laughs> this is going to be a nightmare soon. Alright, I should probably work on the automation here. So, we need end gates. Um, this is technically ideal. And then we're going to need critter sensor. This is going to be here. And then we're going to want airborne critter trap. Yo, it actually fits. I can't believe this works. This is so jank. Dude, what is this? Polluted oxygen right here? That's jank, yo. What is this? I really need to clean this polluted oxygen. Okay, so this is clean. Nice. And then we know this is going to be like that. We will trim this while we can. And then I could just hop on. Happy with my 2-2. Welcome in, Geek. Yo, man, I can't wait to get more clothes, though, man. I can't wait to actually be able to have, like, my entire colony suited up with the uh, cosmetic skins. And they actually all look different. That'd be so cool, man. I can't wait for that. I'll go over this. I see you over there. Welcome in. How are you? And thank you for tuning in. How's the days? How is the Tuesdays? Oh, what is this? What is this? I have to wait for this? Okay. All right. So this should be done, right? We're going to remove the snail. How is polluted O2 just hanging out on a screen door? That's what I'm saying, man. So, it's because polluted oxygen, relative to regular oxygen, doesn't move. Um, polluted oxygen, when it's near regular oxygen, it floats, and it only moves horizontally. So, that's left to right. Right? Now, that's something because of how the game's coded. You know, that's just the game mechanics at that point. So, once you have polluted oxygen, it's only going to move left and right until another gas gets by. Polluted oxygen acts like oxygen when it's around non-oxygen gases. So if you have CO2, it's going to want to float up. If you have chlorine, it's going to want to float up. But uh, once it gets around oxygen, it's going to stabilize. Once it gets around hydrogen, it might push down. Because hydrogen is supposed to push up. But yeah, polluted oxygen is weird. It likes to move horizontally. It only moves vertically when it's relative to other gases. So yeah, it's a little bit weird like that. Only gas logic is really, really weird. It's one of those things where it's like, it really is an algorithm. <laughs> like, like that's the best way to describe it, man. They, they have an algorithm for this. All right, we need to continue this. This, lo <laughs> dude, this looks like an automation nightmare, dude. Look at all the automation here, dude. What the heck is this? <laughs> oh man that's such a nightmare it's gonna work though these are shine bugs oh we're waiting for the sun bug to hatch yeah we have a sun nymph egg yeah, 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 yeah. I wish there was an overlay for critters that paints the critters a unique color depending on the type of critter it is. Because in the shine bugs, I cannot tell a difference between a shine and a sun bug. And that's going to be big problems, man. It will be. All right. So how are we doing over here? He's still building. He's doing his best. All right. So this is nine range that's fair okay so we'll build out the tiles i think that's going to be the smart move all right i'm going to do that that way the items fall through that's clean same thing here oh 
I don't have oil here. Uh, that means making a liquid lock is going to be fun. Oh, I didn't realize that. Mm. All right, we're going to have to do something with that. That's going to be a good time. All right. We're going to wait. Technically, I want these two done first. This is going to be sweep only all. If you want to sweep, we could start sweeping along the setup, but we don't need to do that yet. Let's push this to a pri uh, priority four. So this is just going to be idle work. All right, now that this is gone, we could mine both of these so the items fall down. Which would mean I'd probably want to do this, sweep this setup. And then once we're done, the top's going to be dug out. I could probably mine this out now. And then we'll finish up the rest. All right, he's going to have stuff to do. And then technically we have to mine this out. I would realistically... Oh, I can't mine that. Oh, that'd be top tier. Oh, there's a strat for this, I think. Yeah, 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 there's a strat for this. Uh, I'll try to pull it off later. New Pernables. Ooh, it's a little Drecklet. Yeah, we're not taking that. <laughs> we're not taking that, that's fine. That's heat, man. I'm going to avoid that if I can. So this was going to be a fish tank. Let's get the water for it inside, man. I wish we got skins for this. I got to get a second one. Fake traps. Oh, you need to change suit. Uh, that is here. All right, George. Change suits. Uh, this is at zero. We're not actually wanting to do that. That's good. All right. I got to watch this so that we could dock the suit after. Dock the suit. Dock the suit. Oh, he's taking a dump. Oh, that's fine. Chillin, chillin. All right. So here, we're doing this design. Seems a little weird. It's effectively a liquid lock. And then we're going to start mining the other tiles afterwards. Again, just so that we don't have to sweep. All the items are going to fall down right straight down. Okay. So I guess we'll start setting this up. So this one is going to be Critter Egg Shine. This is going to be sun. And then I don't have coral yet. So it's not going to pop up. Alright, so the automation for this is going to be a little jank. We're going to want to do this. And then we're going to want to do this, this. There we go. Looks a little jank, but it should be fine. Rail line looks good. And then this is going to be no... We'll count the critters and the eggs. And it's a green signal if it's below. We're going to allow cramping here. A dupe dump. Yo, man. It'd be like that sometimes. George has to take a dump. All right, what's a good value? They're going to get cramped. And the amount of shine bugs in here shouldn't reach a value that hurts dupes via radiation. So go to five. Good old value of five. All right, that's going to be pasted. 20 is way too much, man. On eight tiles. Five should be fine. All right, so the automation is basically if I get the right critter egg, we drop it. And then if we have more than five critters, we just drop it in here. That way we have a separated setup. And then once the critter drop-offs are set up to have the correct type of critter, they're going to automatically move the shine bugs back into the respective ranch. That's going to be the good thing about this. Now, the one thing we don't have is a fire pole. We'll get a partial one at the very least. Fuel is bad, though. I didn't get a fire pole down here. Okay. This is already kind of bright. Speed this up. Let's go with that first one. Then we'll build the tiles out. There we go.
build this, build that. We need to get a dig. Nice. And then we would want to dig this and technically dig that. Because we'd be able to actually reach. And then realistically probably go into with one of these. One, two, three. Here, here afterwards. And then we sweep later. Back to this guy. He's working. Doing pretty good. Get those tiles out. Alright, so the strat's going to be a little awkward. It's going to look like this. And then we want to dig two tiles here. All right, here, here, here. Once we build that, we could do this, this, that, maybe. And then we'll do the lock right here. Okay. We'll get the auto super in now. And then we know this is going to be sealed too long. This is going to be all carbon dioxide because it's going to be mushrooms otherwise we can't get the coral bug which kind of sucks all right that means this pipeline is going to have to be relocated okay i'm gonna want it in the tile so it's easier to kind of uh move around all right dig this out dig this out still got to do the rest Someone's going to get stuck, man. I see it happening. Nice. Didn't get stuck. Kind of impressed. Tactically, don't need this ladder anymore. Alright, we can reach everything now. Okay, so this is gonna be vacuum oil. No, this this is gonna have to be proper water. Yeah, the reasoning for this is because um, moving slime in and out is gonna bop the oil lock, so that's not gonna be good for me. As much as I would want to move slime inside, I don't know if I really want to do that. Arwen, oh, I never got suits to here. All right, we'll we'll get you some suits right now. Okay, so the vacuum's finally done. We can remove this. Remove the vent. Power line. All right. That should be kind of nice. Now I want to move a new power line going down. So I need to actually fix this now. Oh, this is in. All right. So here, 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 here. Cut, 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 cut. And then technically this is no longer needed. That's going to be an open segment then. I guess we could do that and remove this. Because that looks a little bit better. And then this would come into there. Okay, so this line is now active. And then we need to connect it to something. So this comes straight down, most likely. I need to find a line to connect to. I think it's going to be this line. This line plus this line. So that's 480 plus 620. That's what? 1100. And then we have this line. This is... Why does this say 1600 watts? All right, 480. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's 1580, right? 11 plus that, 1580. And then what else can I add on to that? This pump? Oh, no. This is on the skinny line. I'm actually not able to <laughs> do anything about that. Uh, I'm at 1580. I can't put that. I can't put that. I guess we keep the hydrogen line here just for some of the manual stuff like that. I mean, it's something to get started with. Okay. Yeah, I would want to run the wire here, if possible. Because then I would connect to the suits. 
and then that would connect and then we're really just looking for this connection uh i would want to put it in here so it's cleaner looking so that's a ladder okay and then i can't reach the corner i don't think so i'll put a ladder here and then we'll get our suits actually started so checkpoint one two we'll move this and once this is moved the power lines connect and we'll be fine oh we'll just use it for the suits here then the remaining amount of power that should be clean all right so we need to just connect to here that is probably gonna be like this Ooh. I might just run this straight through. And then we could just disconnect this line. I kind of like that. Okay, so we have one more power line. It's partially going to go into this. And then we're probably going to run that to the skinny line right here. It's going to probably be the suit forge. I would want to put the phone on there. And then we know that... This line has a false 120. Oh, I actually don't need this coming down like that. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Oh, George needs to change his suit again. He'll be fine. Oh, you took off your suit here? Damn, son. Okay, let's move this back inside. Undock this one. Let's go again, George. This planet has food. We chillin'. Oh, we need to make sure George has food. Oh, he has food on the planet. Excellent fruit. All right, can't be mad about that. Dupes are working. All right, shine effects. Five of them, and then the rest of them go into here. Ah, uh, liquid. Dude, they're so bright. All right, man. Oh, there it is. The sun nymph. Ah. Uh, I don't want to wait. All right, these guys, man. I'm sorry. You guys got to go. Oh, I'm sorry, Shine Bugs. You guys are cool, man. You guys are cool. Oof. Big pops. All right, so this is going to be Sun Bug. Bristleberry. All right. So where was he? Oh, do you have to look for him again? There he is. All right. Got the sun nymph. Let's go. And then sun nymph. Oh, I have to wait till he's an adult before I can see egg chance. That's tough. All right, hopefully they move them soon. Rockets are gone. How has the scanning been? Dude, he takes a while to actually drive. He's chilling though. Oh, hi, I see. I should probably swap right now. Oh, what is this? Dude, what just happened? Dude, come on, dude. None of my mods broke. Everything is okay. These are my mods. Critter rename. Man. Guys, give me one second, man. We just crashed desktop for no reason. I do keep autosave on, so we should have an autosave. Man, what was that? Guys, save frequently. Make sure you guys have autosave on. <laughs> hello, hello. Pick up the game. There it is. Autosave 402. Feels bad, yo. Just for that, I'm going to pour out some coffee. You guys ever, you know, take a gamble on a fart? And then it turns out to be a bad gamble? 
that ever happen to you guys? No one? Yeah, me neither, man. Nope, nope, never got me with that. <clears throat> Alright, so guys, my, my save crashed. I don't know what happened. We're going to pick up from where we left off. It looks like we're still building this. That's cool. We're going back to here. Alright, he's still doing his thing. Never trust a fart, man. Susumu knows. Susumu knows. Alright, the rocket's still there. Alright, I should swap now. Let's go, old gamer. Alright, and then I need to dock the suit. Wait, is he allowed to eat? He might not be, actually. He is allowed. Nice. Good stuff, old gamer. It's just turd whistling for the right away, yo man. Not for the right away, but whistling that it's gonna be right away. That's that's what it means, man. It's not like driving, dude. This is a lot different. This is very different. Alright, we'll do these two. And then I would want to do that. Nice. And then once we do that, once we're in range. Decon. That's going to be queen. We'll start setting up some uh, tiles here. And then... Oh, I needed my CO2 route. Alright. And I need that for the vent line for CO2 inside. That is going to be like this... Okay, that usually means then I will probably just put the loader here. And then we need to send the loader back home. Okay, so that is going to be this line. So that means I would want to do something like this. This is going to be water. I wonder what happened though to cause that crash just right now. Because I'm not actually sure what happened just right now. Really weird. Really weird situation. Alright, this is done. Alright, so the strat here is meme. You build a tile. And when you build a tile, it pushes the items out. And then you dig out the tile underneath, so everything falls down. So that means... You don't have to sweep that. It's kind of nice. I hear somebody. Oh, George is right there. Alright, George has a sword back. George needs to swap the suit. Let's go, George. Oh, food rotted. How much food do we have left? 30 grams? Okay. George might have to go home and uh, get some food soon. Good news is, is that he'll get the food back. Oh, I need to deconstruct the rover. This guy is free steel. I forgot about this guy. All right. Uh, there is no water anywhere. Oh, right here. I will want to pitcher pump this. And then we're sweeping out all the items. Push it out. That's going to be a liquid lock. Probably want to mop this up then. Oh, we can't reach. That's fine. Oni happened. Feels bad. Alright, so we sweep everything to here to have it clean. We could start doing some other things. I probably want to build this first. Steam turbine. Oh, I have gold. Oh, I forgot about that. I'm going to put it right on top of the geyser. I feel like that makes the most sense. And then we'll start with the... This. Oh, he doesn't have mechatronics. Oh, that's the problem. Okay, he's going to need help. He's going to need so much help. I didn't realize that. I did not understand how much help he needed. I see now. I did not realize how much help he actually needed. Alright, so I'm going to drip this here in between the AQ and the geyser. And then this is gonna be iron ore. Oh, I can use aluminum? No, I'll use iron. 
Do you need to redo the power line after the crash? Oh, that's right. Thank you, thank you, Alizar. What's going on, Stefan? How are you? Where's Sour Gas? Nowhere, baby, because we're not even close to the core. I have this huge 20 tile barrier that's before the Abyssal End as well. So you know what you could do to avoid Sour Gas? Just don't go down. Always look up, always look ahead, and you got it. What's going on, though, Stefan? Hope you're doing well, man. Thank you for tuning in. We got to redo the uh, gas pump right here. I got to redo the power line. That's right. Uh, like this. And then we cut this line. And then we go like this. And then I want to do that. Plus that. Hey, oh, this is not the planet I wanted. Oh, of course. Of course they're going to give me that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh yeah, this is probably it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, this is gonna be a planet, dude. I'm almost for certain. I am almost a hundred percent. It's it's one of these two is gonna be a planet. The game likes to put rockets right at the rocket limits. So they like to put three tile away because you can't make it back. And then this is five tiles away and you can't make it back. <laughs> the, the game, they like to do that to you. So I'm almost certain it's, this is a, this is a planet. This is a very lower chance, but this is a higher chance. All right. So we're going to go home and then one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I can't scan that. So I could only scan this if I double launch. Okay, we'll double launch. I'm pretty s sure one of those is going to be a planet then. We'll have to do that today. Need to build suit docks again too. Oh yeah, you're right, you're right. We'll have to set all that up. So it's going to be these two. We're going to need a gas pipeline. And then I needed to uh, shift the gas. Okay, luckily for us, it's just going to be like this. Nothing too bad. All right, pipelines are more or less ready. Oh yeah, and I gotta redo this up top. All right, so it's here. And this. That doesn't help me, but it's like, I don't know what to do with the one space gap there. Might as well just put it back here. And then this is going to be like this. And then this comes straight down into here. And then that's 240, right? So I only have 240. Let's recalculate this. So this is 620 with the suits. Oh, I see. This is 240. Uh, this is a fake 120 though, right? Oh, that's not even on the line. It doesn't matter. Yeah, that's a fake 120. Oh, that actually means that I could push this here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fake 120. This door is never going to power. Right? That door never turns on. And it's not even a meme. It's like that only turns on if I open it. Like no one's going to go down here. This is a vacuum. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I could move these two into the top line, actually. So I could decon this to get the items back. And then we just sacrifice some of the lead here to go straight up. So it's effectively like this. And I lose out on the wires here. Because I could only decon these two. I could decon this one, but not anything else inside. Yeah. That could help out. That's on the top now, so that's 20 watts we wouldn't have to do. So we still at 240. 480. That's 6, 7, 20. 13, 20. And then 17, 18 flat. And then we have a couple of suit docks. Now I'm just going to basically risk this. 
and have it on the line, it's going to be a little bit over. But, you know, you're not going to have everything charging at the same time. So it's going to be a little bit less, which is kind of nice. This means that I wouldn't need this line for this. I could use this for something else. Probably just go back into this line instead of running a skinny line. Or maybe we just run the skinny line off of the hydrogen. That I don't have to think about it. All right, that's probably fine. Let's go back to here. Aqua Tuner with the steel, sweeping out the items, pushed out the stuff. Let's go. Okay, so George has food here. But I think we need to go back home and bring the second dupe. All right, let's send George back. Okay. So we need a mechatronics dupe and, well, if they have mechatronics, they're going to have electrical engineering. But uh, we need to set this up. Pitcher pump there, so we can make a liquid lock. And then we still got to do some miscellaneous sweeping. Should be good. Waiting rad bolts, that's fine. Okay, this system seems okay for now. Steam is at 85, 185, 105 kilograms. Very, very good. All right, not bad. So did we... Oh, I need to move the sun bug out again. All right, these guys got to go. Hate to think about what will happen to that poor pip. If it's in there when the volcano goes off, don't worry, man. The pip's not going to be inside. He's going to be somewhere else. He's going to be somewhere else. Once we put the liquid lock, he's not going to go in anymore. Dude, newborn Pip. Hopefully he's he's old enough to understand this is danger. That is danger, man. Hopefully he understands. Okay, so they are wiped out. I need to put in the sun bug. So that's Gristleberry. Yeah, nice. And that's one kilogram, so one at a time. All right, so where's the sun bug? Shine, shine, shine. It hatched, right? There it is. Found it, boys. Wrangle move to. And that's here. Woo. Okay, so this is three. This is three. We're going to put sun bugs here. We only have a sun baby. It's coming in soon, though. And then hit that with a priority nine. All right, so that's going to be Gristleberry. 3% stale. Oh, dude, you better eat that fast. Someone, someone please move him so he can eat the berry. I want him to really eat the berry. Eat the berry, dude. Eat the berry. Oh, dude, it ate the berry. Let's go. Oh, and it's Poggin. Hey. He ate, he ate 25%. Oh, we just moved 25% more berry. Oh, this is at 99% fresh, though. You could evolve them. Shine bugs do not actually give you meat. Sadly. <laughs> they, they, they don't give you meat, man. I hate to break it to you. They don't think be like it is, but it do. Alright, so it's time to increase our Poke Shell numbers. Uh, so the eggs get moved out. Is my Poke Shell Ranch done? It's not. No, it is. I reached that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why. And then this is set to green signal. No, it's below. So this is setting a green signal. So if it's below one, right? So it's same thing here, same thing here. Capture him. What? Oh, it's not connected. I was gonna say, dude, you're gonna capture him. All right, so the pokey shells go here. And this is one for one. All right. This is going to be all pokey shells. And then this is going to be oak shells. I don't have that yet, though. We'll wait for that. Sandy shells, same thing. We don't have that yet. 
We gotta wait for the egg. Yo, this guy. Yo, this guy had the... Oh, damn. He went to the highest tile spot to drop the biggest free-falling fart. What a bastard. I can't believe he done this to me. At the bottom of this ladder well, dude. That's gross. Wait, wait, hold up. Did I read that correctly? Oh, building not submerged. I thought the building was flooded. I was like, wait, this is supposed to be in the water, though. What do you mean? <laughs> I was like, wait, this is supposed to be in the water. What do you mean it's not submerged? I was tripping out. Okay, so it's actually fine. Uh, it's okay. Let's look at the ice. It's one tile, right? 223. Yeah. All right. So we're just going to move the ice into here. All right. Are we back home? No, they're both on the way. That's fine. Rotten gristleberry. It happens. All right. Close this. Looks like I need a ladder here. I need to make sure we uncheck. Let's do that. All right. Now we need to make sure we pump out the gas. This is the simple setup. All right. And the power is going to be from here. Right. You're going to get this. There's no way you don't, right? And then... I think we will do the meme in the middle. Typically, I didn't want to do this, but I think we have to now. Uh, let's see. Water is actually what I'm looking for. Do we need water? Liquid. As long as it's not pee water. It could be brine. Brine's fine. Yeah, brine's fine. That's not enough. Anything in kilogram? Ooh, 12 kgs. Let's move that. Okay, and then I don't have the rail here. I oh, know I do. Okay, rail's connected. That's good. This is on manual use. Everything looks fine. A lot of the power looks okay for now. Oh, this is not ready. Unre oh, I can't go in. Alright, we could open this door. You can't stand here anywhere and breathe, so it should be fine. And then we'll be able to build this out. These two from this tile. Okay. Let's do this just for the uh, very minor amount of speed that we get. Alright, alright. Need the vacuum. We'll add in CO2 very soon. So the vacuum is just so that we could actually grow the mushrooms here. Maybe we should have wild mushrooms. We do have trace amounts of slime, which is why I'm like thinking about that. All right, so we'll do a secondary setup here because I think I would want it. Uh, how would this work though? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we are gonna run a receptacle. Oh, but then it's because I run the rail here. That's kind of a problem, right? Mm, these the other strat is is just if I'm under twenty, it's probably not worth it. Mm. A little bit of slime there, a little bit of slime there. Maybe we do want a wild planet. All right, we'll grow this here, just to grow some. It's probably gonna be fine. Yeah, we're going to empty, grow, and that means... Yeah, we don't have a lot of slime. We're just going to put a bin here. And this bin is going to be where the slime is going to be. The problem with this is that that means a dupe could walk in to do it instead. And it's a lot better receptacle. All right, for the memes, we'll do the meme strat. Yeah, we'll have to do it like that. So we're going to automatically move all the slime to here. And it's effectively just going to have uh, 
all the slime basically get dropped off and then it's going to go into the receptacle then what's going to happen is the sweeper is effectively going to do all the fertilizing now the problem is is we might not have enough space to actually pull it off so it's basically that there's too much slime <laughs> I won't be able to fit everything inside the box, but we're hoping we are going to be able to do our best. This is a thousand. Yeah, it's a ton. And I have 12 tons. Yep, 12 times over. There is the secondary idea by putting a sweeper here as well. We could use the power line. Oh, I won't be able to pull this off then. All right, so let's prep for that. If we were going to do a weird sweep design, we would have to mine backwards. We would need a dispenser here. But it would work, yeah. Off-gassing wouldn't happen. Yeah, I guess we could do this. Here, and then we just run a random sweeper here. We don't need power on the second object. This should be okay. All right, so we are back. This guy's back, okay. So this was George, which is fine. All right, so this one, we need to change the fridge to 15 kgs. We realistically go down to 10. And then I need to put then a second dupe. Now let's put, let's put 15. So the second guy needs mechatronics. That is going to be either Lathalore or fake humanoid. So let's look at their actual requirements. Lathalore is 12 or it's uh, 1127. That's fine. Fake humanoid. Oh, he's on the second planet. Oh, all right. We have to take uh, Lathalore then. Mechatronics on the second planet. You can't, yeah, I can't do anything about that. Well, okay. Change crew. Where are you at, Lethalore? Leo the dupe. Lethalore is right there. Operating building. Let's have them do a little bit of supplying as well. So that's both electrical engineering and mechatronic, so we should be good. All we gotta do is get the food and we'll fly back. Oh, I need to get the fuel as well. All right, this guy's going to go back. Let's go. Do you have any available dupes this run? Can't remember if I'm in the colony. Sorry. Uh, dude, honestly, you could join whenever you want. Can you make a wild mushroom farm? Yeah, we'll do that soon. I want to get a little bit of growing mushrooms because it's going to be faster. That way, this little sun bug could evolve into the coral bug. Right, he's probably gonna want to eat the uh, fried mushrooms in order to uh, evolve to the pinky guy. So we'll get some going, and then we'll probably just plant some wild mushrooms somewhere else. What's going on, Greater? Welcome in. All right, yo, drag them. Who would you like to claim? We have starting from Camille, Bubbles, Catalina, Otto, Nicola, Ari, Joshua, Quinn, George is available, Steve. Bert, and that's it. Taking bubbles. All right. Welcome in, Draclum. Welcome in, welcome in. Susumu joining as well. I see you over there. You are not a balloon artist. That's tough. All right. Let's see. What do we got today? You are going to be Sporkit and Jeans. Let's give you some green gloves, though. Got a match. Look at that. It's a late Christmas. Welcome in, welcome in. Susumu's going to nab George. I see you over there. Susumu, do you have a dupe already? Because if you do, you can't have two Susumus running around. You don't have a dupe? 
Holy crap, you don't have a dupe in this run. Wow, all right. That's going to be George. It was the other save, yeah. Welcome in. George is indeed the balloon artist guy. He's a fan of fish. Dude, his default outfit looks so raggedy. Default footwear. Oh, the default pants. This looks so bad. Alright, let's get him some clean pants. Let's get him some gloves. The top's gonna be what's... Uh... Alright, man. He's gonna be wearing a t-shirt. Only way to do it. Denim shoes. All right, Tsusumu. Getting some new clothes. These are the hand-me-downs from Little Brother. I don't know what that is, Kenny Dave. I was about to hit it for George. I see over there timing up. <laughs> George is very sought after sometimes, man. He's a nice dude. He's a nice dude. All right, all right. We got you guys in. All right, so we have that, and are we good here? Food is okay. I need to get the second suit. Oh, we have a split right here. Let's do it like that for now. And then I need oxygen. They're both fine, actually. All right, 90. This is going to get there soon. Alright, so this is going back to here. We have the materials. Should be all good. The fridge is filled. We got the suit. Nice. Alright, so we will do only this one. I want to top off the suit line. This is ready. Uh, almost ready. Could be worse. I had someone not be able to get my name right. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. It'd be like that sometimes. And then they, they start calling you that, right? That's the classic right there. That's the classic right there. David, please. Oh, we never actually got this done. All right, we'll get this done right now. Let's get those conductive wire rings in. All right, we never actually got this part done. So let me actually get this part done real fast. Ah. Ah. Uh, realistically. I see. Hmm. So this comes down into here. We know this line's going to be removed and then we connect to here. So I guess we come in like this. Come in down here. Try to be a little bit more slick. And that means this is gone. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Should be fine. Yo, man, what a name, dude. <laughs> that would be a name, all right? All right, we want this to launch. Oh, man. How much is this at? 82. Uh, we're going to cut the power. Once we launch, all this is going to flood backwards. That's why. Hopefully, we actually put enough. Let's cut this again. Okay, we need a lot more. That's good. All right, we're flying back. This is going to take 0.8 cycles. I think once we start driving, it's going to be fast. Susumu, let the war, chillin'. This has food and everything, so we're not worried. We just need to start doing uh Oh, did we want to double jump that? I can't if I'm there. Alright, we're not gonna scan this today. We'll scan another area. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna scan up here. 
One, two, three, four. Yeah, I could scan this and uh, reveal a little bit on the back. It's going to be, yeah, organic mass field. That might be a place. So this is a cluster, kind of like this, side by side, point of interest. So there's no planet here. This is another cluster. This could be the Terra or Russell's teapot. And then this is potentially two planets. I am missing Shovel and Regolith. I mean, uh, Shovel and Gassy Moo. I guess this could be a planet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe. I'll probably want to check both of these soon. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to be good. And 150. All right. So we're just going to flood this back to here so we can empty out the pipeline. This is going to be crew launch. Five out of ten. Yep. Everything is good. Oxygen's inside. All right, we should be fine. Let them work on that. Steam's going to back up and uh, just dump itself. And then we got to do the suits over here. Uh, do we make any more suits? That's going to be what we're going to want to do. Two suits. Oh, uh, we're doing iron. And then I need to make some more iron. The old is bad. This part's starting to get hot. Mm, I'm pumping cold water. All right, that's fine. We'll leave that alone. I might want to start uh, funneling uh, oil through. Or we just use petroleum. That's true, too. Oh, we got the floating hatches. Let's try to get these guys. Oh, that's right. I needed to do this. That's going to sweep to there. Wow, the one bubble of oxygen. One microgram. Dude, that's the ultimate meme. That shouldn't even be possible. There we go. It's bopped now. All right, so we can do this. It's all CO2. It's clean. That means I could just do this. Floating hatches must be a new morph. Yeah, they're uh, aerophobic. Is that a word? Aerophobic? They're scared of the air. Is that a word? So what happens is that they float on top of the gas. <laughs> that, that's not a word, right? I'm making that up. Aerophobic? Right? Because you have hydrophobic. And that's for things that uh, basically don't touch water. You know, effectively airflow tiles. Aerophobic has to be a thing, right? Or does that mean like aerial? Like effectively flying? It, it's, ah, man, I'm not even sure how the terminology would work out. All right, so we got to get the suits here. Is the fear of flying... Aw, oh, dude. Is, what's, what, what would you use for gases then? What would you use for gases? All right, so this is ready. We would do this cut, this cut, that cut. Get rid of this. Let's do a couple of connections. That's going to be like that, that, that. This comes up, comes down. Delete the small line. Let's clean this up like that. Back down to here. This is connected. A, B. We don't need this. We bop these. Wheel batteries gone. Okay, I'm also going to bop the transformer here. We're probably going to move that up, most likely, and get rid of the batteries. Alright. This is back to being locked. And then now we'll have suits for this. Now we need oxygen. Which we should be able to pull from here. And then we're going to get two suits. So before we get the checkpoint, we will add in the suits and fill up with oxygen. The reasoning for that is I don't want to stop actually doing the shearing. The dupes actually won't die from that. It's a minor thing. But, you know, we got to take care of them. Okay, so this is ready now. Uh, let's stop this. 
yeah, this is basically pressurized. And then let's go for the... Oh, the Zion on the side that we have to set up. Let's get rid of that. Let's do that. Um, I guess we'll do it like this. And get the proper ladder like that. Deconning a battery should leave a bottle of electricity. <laughs> and you know what that should do? That should hurt your dupes when they pick it up. <laughs> oh, this doesn't work because it's not in a stable. Oh, that sucks. Yo, man, you can't just pick up electricity, dude. That's illegal. Yeah, it's literally lightning in a bottle. Ruth, welcome in. Hopefully you're doing good. Hopefully you're doing well. But how are you? How are you? Wait, why is he here? Oh, that was the wrong location. Oh my god, okay. Uh, copy, paste. This is not supposed to be Poke Shell. That's supposed to be Oak Shell. This is supposed to be Poke Shell. Alright, so we're going to wrangle this guy. Move him to here, where he's supposed to be. And then we got to put P-Dirt here. We have tons and tons of tons of Peter, thousands of tons. So that means I'll probably very likely want deodorizers here. That's probably something we should automatically have. Now this line that's at 2060, I have actually 60 watts on this, so it's actually not that bad. So I could do this. It's probably a little jank, but it's fine. Just because I never use the door. All right. Getting oxygen. Finally pumping all the way. This line's getting used with the other lines. Going up to the top. Yep. It's doing all right. All right. We're there now, right? All right. We're here now. Oh, yeah. We got to allow... Uh, who is this? Lethalor? To be able to eat the uh, preserves. There we go. All right, now that we're here, mechatronics, sweeping out everything. We got to move this to the inside of the rockets. Okay. How come this never charged? Oh, it's not connected to the power line. Oh, man, that's why. I'm like, why is this not charging, dude? What's going on? Very, very sketchy. Don't know what's going on here. I see why now. All right, now we get to here. Let's do the pipeline shenanigans that we would typically do. Let's get an aqua tuner in. This is going to be a metal volcano tamer. This is going to be a liquid thermal sensor. We'll use that out of iron. Okay, that's set up like that. We made this out of gold. Nice. Steel. That's iron ore. Yep. Okay, so we know we're spawning the metal here. I actually don't need the auto sweeper here. I just put it here, actually. And I think that's what I'll do with that. Just because I want to be next to the vent. And then this also means that I could put the loader here. So if the loader is here, this is effectively where we need to start, right? So we would start top. I don't know if that's smart. That probably is because it keeps the steam at the very top level very hot. And then we will want to start up a rail. Um, uh, man. This is a 2000. What's the SXC with this? Four. No, that's the uh, Bistolite. Molten gold. That becomes regular gold. And then the SXC with this is 0.129. What is aluminum? Wow, it's nine. It's it's about eight, seven, seven. Yeah, yeah, seven to one, dude. That's wild, dude. Aluminum's top tier, and the conductivity is actually pretty good as well. Um, uh, dude, we have a lot of uh, aluminum here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. All the aluminum in the world, actually. Okay, what's the melting point? A thousand. I could get away with that, I think. 
also known as a capacitor. We don't have the uh, capabilities of picking that up with our hands yet. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Oh, I don't have dig skill for that. That's going to be fun. And then I wanted some batteries here. One, two, one, two. All right, I guess if I vacuum this, it's not going to matter too much, realistically. Yeah, it's not going to matter too much if I mind up sitting or not. If that's like that, and the only thing I'm cooling down... Oh... Oh, I'm going to need the skill then. Oof, that's going to be... One, two. I mean, it, it works. Let the lore is already mechatronic. I can't give them anymore. All right, George, you're going to be the stud. Oh, that means you have to go down this way. Uh, all right. We need a ladder here. Well, no. We could just go through here. Kind of tough, but that's kind of what we want. Four, two... I'm rethinking how this wants to work now. I think we're going to go like that. That makes a lot more sense, I think. All right, let's change out the suits for the people inside. So, Latalore and George. Let's get a priority nine here. AI has the best conductivity of anything, I think. Definitely uh, not space. Oh yeah, aluminum, not AI. <laughs> I said AI for no reason. I see Mama's trying to best to look like the Void. Yeah, man. He is practicing for Halloween. You know what they say, man? Practice makes perfect. And sometimes Mamba is just trying to do his best. Can't be mad about that. I want to take Liam because I like his hair. But yo, man, these interests are, are doo-doo. He's a shabby dresser, dude. Increase that core morale, decrease creativity. I guess it's not bad. All right, we're taking Liam because he has nice hair. Still, okay. Waiting to add water still, that's fine. All right, I am going to, uh, I am going to move the ice back, I think. We're going to move the ice back. And we're going to mine out the ice. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. We're going to get the ice, and we're going to mine out the ice. Okay. And the reasoning why is because... I am going to do a meme strat. Alright. This is a metal tile. And then we are going to accumulate heat on there. And then we're going to put a tile above. Oh, uh, I see. It would be here. That'd be kind of interesting, because that actually might become a problem. And then we would do this. It's a weird idea, but it could work. And then the only thing is potentially getting a heat sink going down. This is probably okay, though. Alright, we're going to wait. Back to here. Okay, steel lock with tuner, got to do the supply, got to do the dig, got to do the cleanup, and that's all okay. Okay, so we need to set up the rail. So if I go like this, like that, like this, like that, I could immediately loop back, kind of. Maybe we do the three here, 
do that, and then we need the shutoff. Because if I do this, that, this, that, I come back. I could also do this, which is probably bad design. So, Mamba will demand sub-service for Halloween. Yo, man, Mamba's, Mamba's a demon king, baby. He doesn't demand it. If he wants it, it happens. Heat temperature plates down to make sure heat is drained. It's, it's, no, what I'm trying to do on this side is we're going to naturally just put all the ice here. So the ice is going to fall down. This is going to be really hot and it's going to melt. <laughs> so I'm just trying to capture the heat before it spills out. And then we're just going to automatically move the ice here. And then we made a design so that you can't pick up the ice. So once the ice is here, you can't pick it up until it melts. Yo, man. Have you ever looked up the entity called the Void in Oxygen Not Included? They got that idea from Mamba. <laughs> they got that idea from Mamba, baby. Y'all don't know about that life. Alright, so this is gonna be cool and then I do want to get some solar panels up here get some power soon that's gonna be something I want to set up as well okay one two three I don't want to put it here because it's gonna get hot and then I guess we could mine this because I could still climb up here. Oh, and I can't reach that for now. Uh, that means I would want to do this. It's something... Why the heck did I leave without a suit? It's something I've seen before. Dude goes to the bathroom after you're assigned a suit. Before he puts it on, you leave the rocket without the suit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what happens. Yeah, you never you never wore your suit, even though you're assigned. So downtime, if you assign the suit to someone, breaks your job for wearing the suit. So it's kind of like a weird problem. But yeah, I think you'll be fine now. Yeah, I think you did it earlier when we uh, swapped, and then you took a dump. <laughs> Feels bad, man. You're coming back to get it, though. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Put it on. Hey, there we go. Nah, Void is a cat from a webcomic. Started somewhere around 15. Wait, wait, Coral? The cat Coral? Link okay? Uh, give me one sec. Mercury, can you post that on Discord, though? I wouldn't be able to see it here. If you can't post it on Discord, I'll check it out later after stream. Oh, the Facebook post. Oh, do I have to log in to view that? Feels bad. Hopefully I could see that without logging in because I don't have Facebook. <laughs> I don't have Facebook, man. Facebook recently added this thing where if I want to log into my account, I have to give them like my, my passport. And I'm like, yeah, fuck that. I'm not giving you my password, dude. So my, my account's just kind of compromised, but not compromised at the same time. You pick what's good. Welcome in. I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. Hello, hello. All right, maybe we were out of iron. Oh, no, we're... Oh, we had it. Man. We had it. <laughs> Mucho Moss joining the dupe colony. Who would you like to claim? Put it in the Mama channel. Gotcha, gotcha. I, too, like Liam's hair. Oh, you, you got the new Liam? Yo, man, you're going to be the slowest dupe in the colony, man. Just saying. Yeah, they need my passport. They're asking specifically for my driver's license or my passport. And I'm just like, yeah, that's not happening. I'm just going to leave my account. Like, it's it's there. It's floating. I just can't log in. I would imagine no one else could log in either. Uh, let's see. 
Mucho Moss. Welcome in. You are not a balloon artist. That's unfortunate. Okay. Mucho Moss. What can we give you? Let's give you the jean denim shirt. Let's give him some shorts. Got some matching gloves. Oh, it doesn't actually match. That sucks. All right, let's give them some socks. Let's go, man. All right. Yeah, I guess this is okay. Oh, the gloves are a little too long. Let's go back to this. Meet your moss. Welcome in. Only way to do it. A little bit of Bryant having some issues. There it is. So there's the ice I'm talking about. I just want the ice to melt, and it's a little bit slow. It's a little bit slow. Feels bad, boys. Alright. I, uh, I thought it was going to be a little bit more effective than that. So it's still better if I just temp shift plate everything up. All right, we'll just move all the ice here temporarily. And then once we need to, we'll just make temp shift plates. A little bit of heat right here, and that's fine. All right, so this is open, and I forgot to go back inside. Uh, vacuum. We got the oxygen. We are pretty much good. Okay, this is going to be a suit dock. Oh, I don't have power here. Oh, dude, I don't have power here. Um, I haven't actually rerouted all my power yet. I guess that means we'll probably just use the uh, hydrogen line. Oh, we don't need this anymore, right? Yeah, so let's get rid of this. This is going to be my new hydrogen line, I guess. And we'll move it temporarily to like over here. Clean that. Have that removed. Transformer. Let's go. What are you building? There's a lot of things I'm building right now. So on this planet, we're going to do a Volcano Tamer. It's going to be the Gold Volcano right here. We're going to need some solar panels to power it. That's going to be what that is. And then we're going to make gold. Uh, next thing is back at home. This is going to be Pinch of Pepper Nut Farm. So Pinch of Pepper Nut right here is the seed. It's going to give us this plant. And we're going to start pit planting this. So we got to move a couple pips to over here. And they're going to start planting. Uh, next thing is, is that we need suits. And we're going to need power for those suits. So we're going to try to set this up. Yes, I go like that because I can't actually reach the ceiling. Got to go around. Be like that sometimes. All right, so I kind of want that done first. So let's actually do this. Priority seven. Uh, afterwards, we will move a pip inside. It's Oh, this guy's stuck. All right, it's going to be this guy. We'll move him to here. Priority nine. And we're going to take a chance. Hopefully, whoever wrangles him immediately moves him. Otherwise, he's going to drown. Don't let him drown, Nicola. Don't let him drown. He's... he's oh, oh, don't let him drown, boys. Somebody save him. Somebody save the pip. Please. He's drowning. Yo, this is priority nine? Someone save him, boys. Dude, there he is. Nope, nope. Somebody down the ladder. Come on, man. What are you guys doing? They're adding more water. Yo, man. That's... Oh, rip the pip, dude. They couldn't save him. Right, we got to try again. Come on, man. We couldn't save the pip. All right, so this is going to be a pinch of pepper nut farm so that we could start making brackeen. That's going to make the ranching a little bit easier for us. But that's really just for that, you know, getting some bracking. Rip that pip. And he's in. Falls down. Let's go. All right, we need you to plant it, man. Need you to get it started. Eventually, he'll get the status called he sees the seed. Oh, he's too far away from this. He's going to have to, like, walk all the way around. 
There it is. He sees the seed already. He's going to walk all the way there. This guy does not jaywalk. He just made three rights just to get to this location. The Pip is a good guy, man. He always follows the rules. Doesn't jaywalk, man. He will go and make seven left turns just to get to the right position. And he won't jaywalk. It's kind of crazy, man, that it'd be like that sometimes. All right, I'll just say flag. So back here, we're going to want to sweep this, that, that. Let's move the suit back inside. Okay, back outside. Let's continue building. This is insulated tiles. Right, that's going to happen like that. Uh, we can start doing a liquid lock. That's actually what we need to do over here. We're also going to probably want to cancel this because we're going to probably want to do a bottle emptier design. Uh... Honestly, if I do do that, it's probably going to be on this corner, and I probably want to bump this, and then we're going to put a ladder there for now. And then that means it's either going to be one of these two so that we get a bottle empty into here. Oh, I'm going to need mixed liquids. I'm going to need mixed liquids. That's going to be fun. Uh, I, ne I need to actually go back and bring oil. I could use regular brine salt water. Oh, yeah, we don't have any of that. Water, pea water. Brine ice? Brine ice. Snow, ice, no brine, no salt water. Dang, that's tough. Uh, what are my geyser compositions here? There is no water. Okay. I can't use molten metal as a liquid. That doesn't happen. Alright, six should be pretty good. Let's get a conductive wiring here. I don't know how much that actually is, but my amount of lead did not go down. Oh, I need to get the suits refilled. Yeah, I'll probably do that right now. All right, y'all. Y'all know what time it is. Please don't mess this up. Let the lore and suits move. No one's trapped, man. Stop lying to me. There it is. Gassy Moo. Oh my God. That was actually Gassy Moo. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, dude, this is, these two are actually potentially planets. All right, so this guy is six tiles. I'm actually going to change to this tile so I could scan this. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I scan these, these tiles right here. Actually, yeah these tiles so i'm gonna do this one susumu stop messing up man no 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 don't go outside don't go outside right here right here there we go he did it boys he didn't leave without the suit on part two electric boogaloo I'm doing the things getting down tonight all right we're gonna have that i'm gonna do lead or iron and then lead here there we go. Water, liquid lock. Okay, so now we need to do the rail. Well, the automation is very straightforward. Uh, let's use gold for that as we have it. So, the rail design. So, if I sweep here, the loader has to be here too. Right? I'm thinking that the loader is going to be here. That's going to mean that the sweeper is going to be right underneath. And then we can pick up all the gold that spawns. Right, because it's going to spawn on this tile. Now, I am not sure how I want to do this. Because the problem with this is, I need to do a temperature check. I could avoid a temperature check too at the same time. What? Why? Wait, what? Oh, dude, we ran out of toilet water. Oh, dude. Yo, we ran out of toilet water. Oh, man. That's my bad. Yep, that's going to be my bad. 
we need to cool that room, right? Otherwise, we need to deal with the liquid gold. Uh, yeah. Well, no, the, the steam turbine is going to be grabbing heat and then deleting it and then dripping back water inside. That's going to be how the gold cools down. We're going to run the aqua tuner, though, to the above room so that my steam turbine never overheats. And then we're going to double up by using that as a cooling source. Now, of course, there's going to be a small problem with this. Uh, micro packets. I'm thinking about just not doing a temp check and do something else. But the problem is, is I can't do this. I can't do... Oh, is it like that? I think I want to do this. This doesn't matter. Oh, uh, that means my steel sweeper probably goes up here. That's probably at, for the best then. Yeah, okay, this does work. I didn't like this though. Okay, so we're gonna go like this, like that. And then this. And we don't reloop. And I think we would be fine. What's gold melting point? A thousand. All right, you know what? Let me go back and use aluminum instead. And then I want aluminum temperature plates. Because we have a lot of it. I can't imagine using anything else. So, bam. Yeah, we have so much aluminum that's actually viable. And then... Well, it doesn't matter which way we go. Because afterwards, we're going to have to go back out. Yeah. And then it will probably have to load it to somewhere. For the time being, I guess this will be a temporary spot. Just so that we have a dump location. Seems okay. Steel, steel, gold. This doesn't have overheat. Yeah, there's no overheat on this. So this is fine as long as it doesn't melt. Long rails to keep uh, temp shifts down. I, I want to maximize because I don't want to use... Um, you'll, you, you'll see. So we're going to basically run a thermal sensor. I think we're going to put it on this style. And this thermal sensor is going to tie into the shutoff right here. Uh, I probably use gold for this higher melting point. So this means that once the steam is below a certain temperature, we allow everything out. That's that's gonna be what we want to have happen. So we're not gonna be running an individual check. We're gonna run a steam inside, basically. We're gonna look for the temperature inside, and once the temperature of the steam drops past a certain amount, I should be safe. This is iron conductive. Okay. That's power. We're going to have to connect the top. All right. Everything here should be fine. The problem is they're going to have to pee their pants constantly for a couple days, which might suck. All right. Got the gassy move. Yep. He just peed. Oh, man. They're going to be stressed. Oh, look at that. Oh, he planted in a vacuum? You little stud. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I was going to say, how are you planting that seed? Dude, you're not supposed to be able to plant in a vacuum. You are literally not allowed to. This is one of the rules. This is literally one of the rules for the pips. You're not allowed to plant in a vacuum. What the heck is this? What the heck is this, man? 
Why is he allowed? Is the water and liquid lock safe? Uh, I didn't know gold volcano was the thing. It is. The liquid lock will be safe. Uh, we are going to basically do a vacuum lock right here. And we need a, a liquid lock just to maintain the vacuum. No. So how, how the rules work is all plants that are growable for food have a minimum value for air pressure. And that's 150. And that's across every plant that makes food. So because of that, it shouldn't be allowed to plant. That's literally in the mechanics. Oh, man. This pit man's doing illegal stuff. Actually doing mad illegal, you know, things. This guy, man. I can't believe him. Right? So, so the pit... Planning rules are there's a proximity three plant rule in the five five six six range, and then you have a certain pattern because of the five five six six, and then you have to have plus minus, I think it's fifteen degrees of the maximum temperature. That means you could plant plants outside of the temperature range plus minus fifteen degrees to the max. Fifteen degrees, I'm saying that in Celsius. So if you guys convert that to Kelvin or Fahrenheit, that's different. And then you have to have air pressure, meaning that you have to have gas value above 150. One of the common problems when trying to pit plants is a dupe breeds out CO2 and you have exactly one bubble of CO2 like this that's less than 150 grams. That's the most common problem that stops your pips from planting. The funny thing is, is that it solves itself because the gas moves around. So unless you have a layer of CO2 at 20 grams or something like that, it's probably eventually going to be able to plant. And once it's able to, it will ignore the rules. It's really weird. So it's like there's a lot of weird things that are happening. It shouldn't be able to plant, though. Now there's no temperature, and it's, they're just planting straight up, man. It is what it is. Not even mad. Dude, this was the same pip I, I uh, was praising for the jaywalking stuff. Hey, man. All things balanced, right? A philosopher once told me his name was Thanos. And he was like, yo, man, all things balanced. That's just how it is. Oh, destroyed satellite. Huge rip. All right, time to go home. All things must be balanced. So since he doesn't jaywalk, he does the uh, ignoring of the vacuum. That's fair, man. That's fair. I can't I can't be mad about the pip for that. Alright, so we need to get oxygen here. That's fine. Oxygen there. That's fine. Uh, just to make this easier, we're not going to use this so that the oxygen from here will just make up for it. That way we'll get more oxygen to the suits. Alright, the liquid lock is good. We don't need to do this anymore. They have to build everything, so we gotta wait. Alright, that's fine. So they all have soiled suits right now, it's pretty bad. Alright, we get to here. We're gonna do the setup for this now. Oh, I never got the water here. Uh, we have brine, right? I need something in a decent kilogram. Everything here is grams, dude. Feels bad. Seven tons? Let's go. Let's move that to here. Why do I have seven tons of water, man? Uh, grab the gold. Actually, let's cancel that. Seven tons is way too much, right? Oh, that's all of it. Ah, oh, dude. No way. Dude, that's actually all of it. Man, so close. Hmm. Oh! All my toilets clogged. Good thing I caught this. I need to make an overflow, man. I really do. Uh, so I don't have other liquids do i i don't want to use pee water i guess it's really just regular water then all right oh oh i forgot they move it bottles at a time 
So this is perfect. Yeah, I'm not even thinking. Okay, so we do this. I stand here, one, two. Okay, that doesn't work. So I need to do this. Dang it, man. This auto sweeper's in the way. Uh, it's probably okay, though. Let's put a tile on top. That's probably going to be okay. All right, we're going to hit the empty button so that we have a liquid right here. Then we got to set this up. So how is this guy? Oh, so the automation hasn't been set up yet. Yeah, so the uh, airborne critter trap needs to be tied to a sensor in the rooms. There's going to be a lot of automation coming out of here. That's going to be fun times. Oh, uh, man. I don't think we're going to be using this geyser then as a result. <laughs> Maybe we do. We'll see. Oh, this guy's caught. That's going to go in here, but then this is maxed out. I guess once these start hatching, we'll move them out. Uh, let's see. Shine Sun, and then there's Coral. That would be the next one. It doesn't look like we actually have one yet. Or it actually wouldn't be swept. No, we have select all on the eggs. Yeah, it's fine. All right, we're waiting for that. This is good. Oh, this is built. Yeah, this is Susumu Light the Lore. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, y'all. All right, so this is going to be slime. And this is going to be slime. All right, so this is going to be meme strat. So how this works is, this is a locked door. No one's allowed to open it. When you deliver slime, you're going to stand right here. And then you're going to deliver to this. The slime's going to get delivered to this tile. And then the audit sweeper is going to sweep it in. This means that we're going to have an infinite amount of slime right here. And that means all the slime we have laying around is going to get dumped. And then it's going to go into here, which is connected to the receptacle. We're not going to allow manual use, which means that the dupes can't pull from here and go back and drop it off. And that means my auto sweeper will do as much of the fertilization as possible. So let's go into edible, put in the raw mushrooms. I don't have mushrooms. Oh, it's called dust caps. Wait, what? Uh, is the mushrooms not popping up here? Am I crazy? Wait, no way. I discovered fried mushrooms before I discovered regular mushrooms. No way. Is that actually the case? Yeah, it's not popping up. I haven't discovered the base form of the cooked ingredient. Wow. <laughs> so this means I got the fried mushrooms from, from the printing pot. And I've never actually grown mushrooms myself. Wow. Low key impressive. Low-key impressive, because they can't select the mushrooms. That's actually kind of funny. All right, this guy's coming back. Got the gassy moose. Gassy moose shower. Damn, 80,000 luck. This is good light. By the way, you guys are wondering. This is not even the highest amount you could get, though. But 80,000 is very solid. Very, very solid. All right, so let's go back. Nothing here I need to worry about. I do want to cut this preemptively back to here these guys that are peeing their pants constantly um technically they are fine there's a lot of food inside oh am i actually uh missing suits okay we'll probably have to uh move all the worn suits right now All right, three suits, priority nine. We got to move them back. And once they do that, I think we'll be able to uh, go home. 
because I need these guys to change suits, and then I want to bring some oil for the bottom layer. And after that, we could just use the pea water and the regular water for the uh, second and top layers. That wouldn't be too bad. And then we got to build everything still. Oh, I didn't actually attach the power line inside. Oh, made a mess again. All right, man. We're going home. Don't worry, you guys. We'll get you a fresh change of pants. And everything's going to be okay. We'll get you some ointment for the uh, diaper rash. Think of that sometimes. That's pretty good. I actually didn't need this then, huh? Oh, wow. Yeah. Because then I could have just done this. That's pretty solid. All right. This is pretty good. Susumu jumping in. Oh, man. One, two. I'm missing one still. That's fine. All right. So I don't want them to actually change suits inside because that's potentially a problem. <laughs> They're going to drop all the freaking pee water on the floor. That's not good. Okay, it looks like the area has cooled down. It's perfectly safe. Uh, I'm just going to mine this out. Just to get the lead. Y'all know how it is. Water, ice, it's fine. Wait, 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 wait. Everyone's peeing? Oh, I forgot to build back the res. Oh, no, dude. No, I forgot to build the res. Oh, no, bro. The colonies collapsing. One, two, three. Oh, shit. Not like this. All right. The pee water at the bottom is fine. Just don't do it in the fish tank. Ah, oh, snap. All right, who made a mess? Quinn? Aw, oh, someone else just peed. Right here. Gotta mop this up too. Aw, oh, dude. Build the, build the toilets, man. We need it. Dude, it's another one. DJ Khaled. Everyone is peeing their pants today. Like, it's cool. It's like we all saw that movie with Adam Sandler in it where he goes back to elementary school. And he's like, yo, man, I peed my pants. That's the cool thing to do, right? Fellow kids. All right, there we go. Everything's okay again. Goddamn. Nice, nice. I want to be George. Have you clean up the messes? George is already cleaned. I'm sorry, Ultimo Pot. <laughs> Someone already has George. George's name is Susumu, actually. Yeah, they grabbed that a couple hours ago, I think. Maybe exactly two hours, one hour ago, maybe. Something like that. But yeah, it's already claimed. George's name is... Susumu. Alright, so we got to mine this out. Otherwise, we actually can't leave. Alright, so that's fine. We still generate power. These don't. We have to wait till this off-gas completes. So, the uh, oxalite, I'm not really too worried about it. Even though it's going to be a meteor shower, these do kind of just self bop themselves. So it should be okay. Over time. Alright, so these guys... Oh no! Susumu, I'm sorry. I made you sit in your suit full of pee for a couple days too much. Yo, man, that's my bad, dude. Let's go home, man. Let's go home, Susumu. Yeah, let's go home, man. Hurry up, let the lore. I know that water's sloshing around as well. Let's go, let's go. We're waiting for you to board. All right. It's being worked on, it's being worked on. All right, give me someone else, I guess. All right, so let's give you the list. Starting from the top. You can choose from Camille, Otto, Catalina, Nicola, Ari, Quinn, Steve, Bird, Joshua. And that's your list. Let me know if there's a dupe you would like to claim. Nicola. Welcome in, welcome in. 
ultimate pot. You are not a balloon artist. That sucks. All right, man. You're going to be wearing a jacket. No, let's give you the strawberry watermelon. Strawberry gloves. Basic green? That sucks. Basic green. Alright, get the red. And then we'll give you the green shoes. Nice. Full watermelon, man. Let's go. Because I'm so cool, I see you over there, Ultimate Pot. So, as soon as we just peed his pants again, he's going to be alright. Alright, we're coming home. Gassy Moo Planet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, there's actually a chance. That's actually a planet. Ah, oh, that's really gross. All right, I think we're going to do the double jump and go to here. That's going to be the next uh, scan that we have to do. And then we have to do a gassy moon mission. That's going to be fun times. All right, all right. Yeah, we're doing this. Oh, this has to be sweep only. Yeah, that was infinitely looping for no reason. All right, so I should look at my slime. All right, that's all the slime. Can't complain. Can't complain, can't complain. I guess that's the problem, that this is in range. I probably need this out of range. Well, lesson learned. All right, so power-wise, this has... While this is potentially problematic, we're just going to put the phone line on there. Oh, this could put the phone line low. Hey, that's nice, because I have uh, open space right here. And then we do that. That's not bad. All right, let's get a checkpoint here. That way we don't have to worry about these guys anymore. Let's get a, another suit line. There we go. This is the pip working hard. All right, so what we need here is going to be an O2 line. This is filling up pretty well. Let the lore is fine. All right, so we're going to go like uh, that. And we're effectively just trying to fill this up with regular oxygen. Now, of course, the problem is, is that we want them to have suits first before going inside so they don't break the oxygen by breathing out. So we're not going to actually connect it yet. Dude, are you... Okay, I was going to say, are you planting the seed immediately, dude? He's doing, he's doing good work, though, man. Doing good work. Alright, how is this? 15 tons of ice. That's cold, man. Minus 75. Got an achievement. That's fine. Alright, so... The slime should be good, right? Uh... I think this means we need to start mining out all the rest of the slime. Hmm. That's tough. I might have to just turn this back on. Oh, wow. No way. No way, it's here? Dude, no way. Ultimate meme strat, dude. It's a double dispenser. <laughs> That's super meme, dude. I mean, it works. We'll see that it'll work, too. Yo, Leo, busy day. All good, no worries. Don't worry, man. It was not DSP day, and that's going to be tomorrow. So, you know, as long as you catch DSP day, I think you'll be fine. Free Aussie, welcome in. I see you over there. How are you? How are you? Welcome in, y'all. Leo, Free Aussie. Hope you guys are doing well. We are getting our, uh, you know, pips in order. They're just hanging out. We got the cuddle pips. We got the regular pips. I'm trying to get one more acorn. We're starting the pinch of pepper nut farm. The pip is breaking all the rules by planting in a vacuum. We shouldn't be able to do that. 
that shine bug room is a bit much. Yeah, this is where all my extra shine bugs go. I didn't want to have each one of these rooms filled up, so we just made it so that this one was. I could actually stop them from shining, if that's what you guys want to see. All we would have to do was put a tile like this. The shine bugs don't give you this bright animation when they're not actually happy. So these guys aren't happy. That's why there's no light here. These guys are happy. Well, some of them are glum because they're tame, but it's not that bad. So they're still shining pretty much. But yeah, I could actually stop that. All we got to do is um, let's build a tile here. Doing good, thank you. How are you doing? Just trying to do our best, man. Trying to save, try to catch all the critters. I was trying to be like Ash, catch him, but then people told me I'm really Gary Oak. So I'm like, all right, man, I don't know what that means, but you know what? We'll take it. We will take it. But yeah, we have the shine bugs. Oh, I never selected this. Critter egg, critter egg, critter egg. There we go. Oh my god. Were we getting hit by the Poke Shell Man? We just need more uh, more eggs. Alright, alright. So we're just going to be moving all the eggs out. This guy, he's trying to evolve. Sandy Shell Egg, 100%. Nice. And then what we're going to need to do is pull out a new wild Poke Shell, which is going to be from this guy over here. And he is not angry, so there's no egg. Dang, how old are you? He's 34. It's going to be a while since we'll get a egg later, I think. Uh, hmm. Yeah, there's no other way we get another egg, right? We would have to get it from another planet. No pokey shells here. Oh, one of them's back. Nice. Okay, we gotta get this in. Let's get that connected. Doing pretty good. Steam value is still pretty good. Gotta fill up the rocket. And then, yeah. Fill up the food, fill up the bins. That's all we need to do. Ooh, yeah, this is fine. And then we need to worry about suit durability. They'll probably swap out the suits at the checkpoint. Oh, yep. Yeah. And there's the pee water. Oh, crap. Forgot about this. I forgot about that. Feels bad. Oh, there's a wild shine bug here, dude. What are you doing? Take them out, boys. They should not be wild anymore. doing all right all right guys we're gonna close this to prove to you guys what i mean we're gonna show you what happens when you put a door tile here all right let me actually do the printout take the bright all right so this is super bright right this is what you do build a door these guys are going to be confined down Yo, man, you guys are supposed to dim down. All right, they're slowly dimming down. Just like that. You could actually see the shine bugs now. Isn't that pretty cool? Now everything is more visible now. P water in the base. Time to start the run over. Oh, yeah, that happens, man. That happens. Technically... Opening the door does nothing. Yeah. All right. We're just going to remove the door. So we do have that capability just by building that out. That's the power of the menagerie lock that we have right here. Speed this up. Remove that. And they're going to shine bright like a diamond again. Leo getting most of my prime sub. Coming in with the 10 stream streak. I see you over there. That's a streak, dude, not the prime. <laughs> That's the watch streak, man. So close. 
All right, they're stuck inside. No one's going to the oil. That's good. Some preserves are on the ground. All right, so the rocket is fine. 11 seconds. All right, so that means he will grab the remainder. And we are fine on food. That's all that really matters. So we're going back. Crew change here. Begin launch. All right, once we launch, we will have the rocket on the right side. Take all the steam. I see you, Leo. Oh, you're already have it on. Gotcha, gotcha. Toilet water. I guess I could make the overflow from this, yeah? That could be something to do. All right, so this is fine. Oh, you're right! Toilet water here! Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Muchamas. This reminds me. I need toilet water. <laughs> Both rockets? Nah, just one. Alright, so not only that, I need to bring oil as well. It's not this. 35 kilograms? How wide is this? 11 times 35. That's 3 kilograms per tile. That's a little low. Uh... Hmm... I'm going to take Brian instead. No, that's that's way too tough because I would need a lot more mass. Uh, the only other idea would be petroleum. That would be here. Uh, I don't have any ready to go. Ethanol flashes to gas, so that doesn't work. Man, I guess we just put... Yeah. I would rather do a full 200 kilograms, though. Yeah, I got you, Love the Lord. Give me one second. Oh, yeah, I'll plant the mushrooms right now. I don't know if I have the seeds. I don't have the seeds. That's why. Ah, oh, god damn it. I don't have mushroom seeds. Oh, I do. Never mind. I have seeds. Let's go. Okay, so I wanted to get a suit here. This guy needs to be free. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I needed water. No. How, how slow would that take? Oh, I have an idea. This should work. Uh, here, here, here. And it's it feeds out here, right? Yeah. So I get rid of this, get rid of that. Yeah, okay, now we go back to here. And... Oh... What is happening? There's no power here? There's no power here? And that's because of this? No way. Oh, dude, that actually became a problem. Wow. Alright, that means we have to run the wheel again. And that means we have to run this line again from the coal power. All right, so priority on the side. Yeah, nine and nine. These are fine. Okay, so that means this is not on. Let's disable manual use for now. No, let's put it on sweep only. I was like, we should have oil, right? Now I'm realizing that we don't. Uh, I want the oil to come out. That wouldn't be bad. Dang, and we do have oil. Oh, it's because the natty gas backed up. What? How did this back up? Wait, 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 wait. 
How come this is not leaving? Wait, this sh- Oh! <gasps> no way! My tiles actually completely off-gassed. I was like, wait, this should be not blocked by anything. Oh, dude. And then because of that, the reservoir disabled. And then because of that, I backed up the H uh, the, the natty gas line. And since the natty gas line backed up, the oil refinery is pressurized. If you guys didn't know, this building overpressurizes at 5 kilograms. The moment you hit 5 kgs, it acts like a geyser and stops working. So this means I stopped making petroleum because of this. Wow. Okay, so it wasn't because of the wheel running. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, I think we're also going to want to start sieving the water here. And start feeding it out. Okay, okay. Alright, so we need to do this ASAP. So we got to get this now. We are waiting for this. Yeah, so we're not going to go back immediately. No, I think we will. We'll just come back for the oil. Ah, man. No, we'll, we'll, we'll do the oil now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a plan. All right, now back to here. I am going to do this. This is going to be priority nine. Uh, it's because of that, right? Okay, let's do this. We don't need to run the wheel while we do want to send the items back. It's probably better that we work on this. I effectively need this to be utilized. All right, now it's able to fabricate. There we go. Oh my God. That was such a struggle. The tile of steam right here, memes. All right, now we have petroleum again. Okay, we're fine. We're actually fine. All right, so we'll let that do its thing. And then we'll use petroleum for the second layer at the other side. Higher range. But it's probably not as conductive. No, petroleum I think is better, right? All right, let's just assume then the petroleum is going to be fine. We didn't need the segment. We'll probably keep it for next time. And then that means then... Let's try to set this up. We are potentially going to need this. And we're going to make it out of steel. And then the problem with this is the intake. Yes, and then all we need is a little bit of power here, which we'll pull from this line. And it's basically just going to add into the line. So that I don't have to add water from the other side. We're just going to cycle in the water that we generate. So this water comes from the petroleum gen. We're just going to feed it back in. Should be okay to do that. Alright, so we're pumping all the gas now. It's fine. Alright, cool. So the question is, can you explain the difference in the algae oxygen production? And the other thing that stops when pressure is high. So you're talking about uh, the vents. Is this what you're talking about? Let the lore? If you... Uh, still here i'm sorry about that i have to clean up some stuff the gas vent versus the oxygen knife user right you're talking about max gas pressure differences i love cascading oni problems dude that that's 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 how oni is though snowball effects once it starts it can't stop oh we we launched oh shit we weren't supposed to you know what it's fine We'll go back and build. We need the power. We'll just add the water last. That'll probably be how that works. We add the water last, which is okay. So for the most part, uh, oxygen knife user, they create oxygen, right? And it spawns the gas on the top tile. The bottom tile is where the heat transfer happens, right? So the heat transfer from the tile affects the bottom of the building. The building is two tiles tall. So effectively, heat transfer only happens on the bottom. Now, the top tile is where the oxygen is spawned. And then from there, you have gas movement. 
gas movement in this game is very slow. Look at this tile of CO2. I'm on 1x speed, but you can see that it's taken some time before making a decision to move up, down, left, or right. And it's very slow, and it doesn't go directly in one direction. It's a little bit of randomness to it, right? And then after that, you have how wide your spacing allows for gas flow. There are things in this game called bottlenecks when you don't allow enough space, like something like this. The CO2 gets caught and then just can't leave. So things like that would happen and it would impede your gases from moving more freely. So a lot of the times you want open space, double doors, or you want airflow tiles everywhere so that the gas has free movement. Now there's a downside with that. Airflow tiles and all that, they don't give you a run speed bonus. So if I click on an airflow tile right here, it's just a normal tile. Nothing happens, right? On regular tiles, you get a run speed bonus, which is why you kind of want regular tiles everywhere. Insulated doesn't have it. So regular tiles anytime you can. There's also a benefit of doing an insulated bottom, regular on top for the speed bonus. That being said, back to the gas. Uh, the oxygen diffuser stops producing at 1,800 grams. Or is it 2,000? So it stops. I think it's at 2,000 as well. I think it's at 1,800 actually. I would have to actually check. But for the most part, uh, the oxygen diffuser will try to create the oxygen on that second tile, right? But if that tile is above 2,000, I think it's actually 2,000 minus how much they produce, which might be 1,450. If it's above that value, your oxygen diffuser doesn't operate. You'll get the max gas pressure notification. <gasps> oh, dude. I forgot to add the toilet water. All right, never mind. We're sending these guys back. <laughs> guys, we're going home. Immediately, he just peed his pants. So that's how that works. So now the gas vent, if I think that's what you're talking about, this overpressurizes at a value. The regular overpressurizes at 2K, and the plastic one is at 20 kilograms. Uh, the difference is, this is uh, the other building, is a producer. So this just produces from algae. This is just movement of whatever you have in the pipeline. Now, of course, another thing is, is that it's also relative to the gas. So that means if you have oxygen here and you're trying to do, oh, the diffuser and the terrarium. Oh, uh, so what's the question? Ask again, let the Lord ask the complete question. So I don't get it wrong this time. Start from the beginning, ask me everything, and then I'll answer it all. All right, so we're back home. We're getting the oxygen. And then we're probably going to want this connected anyways. Uh, I need to get some water here. Don't need to split the line. That should be good. All right. This side is fine as well. Okay, so they're both fine. As long as we have enough fuel. 37, 120. Okay. That's coming in. They're both connected. I'm starting to learn it, and I was not making enough O2. Yes. Uh, don't use the algae terrarium. That's, that's kind of just what it gets down to. You don't want to use it. Ah, uh, so... When you're digging down, that's the problem. CO2 would accumulate at the bottom of the tank. And that's what you're running into, right? And then you're trying to fight CO2. Yeah, that's that's the thing. So that's a that's an error because you're not a taking care of the CO2. You could either pump it out or destroy it. B, you dug down. No, no, you either dug up or down without really thinking about it. Cuz if you dig down, all of your progress is at the bottom. That's where the gases accumulate. And then if you dig up, your printing pod gets covered with CO2. So then that becomes a breathing issue, right? So there's a couple things you could do. You could do A, get a lot more oxygen diffusers because that's actually what you need. That's always going to be better than the algae. 
you could add algae to this as a like last resort but i don't recommend it and the reasoning why is because while you do get more oxygen from this this comes at a cost of water and i do not recommend that at all so this is 550 algae for 500 so you can see that you lose a little bit of algae this is 30 algae for 40 oxygen so while this is more efficient you need to spend water for this which is typically not a good thing now a second thing about this is that if you didn't know you can actually put a light source shine bug printing pod you put a ceiling light on it your algae terrarium works a little bit better but i don't recommend building it at all the algae terrarium is something that you should try to avoid it's something you would only build just in case and you need to think about removing that anytime you have it up because it's not something that should be active it's something that you would only put in as a means of getting by but the moment you're able to get by you want to try to get rid of it it's not something you want to play with to be honest and the reason why is because it's slow your dupes have to give it water every time so your dupes are constantly walking down feeding it water and then it doesn't generate enough oxygen per second you're gonna have to build like an army of these and another thing is is that this means that you're going to be relying a lot on the algae another thing is is that it also removes a little bit of seal too so it sounds like it kills two birds with one stone but honestly it's not that effective i wouldn't recommend it yeah i have 15 hours so i'm pretty much just trying to get by okay so um yeah, you just ran into some problems and you really just got to learn from that. So you made some bad decisions and, you know, you're relying on something that you really shouldn't have. So for the most part, I think, you know, I don't think you really need help. You just got to play. But yeah, that's that's very likely what happened and why you didn't have a good time. So next thing you should do is a try to control your seal too. You could either do a box to, you know, just move all the CO2 in. Even though you don't have infinite pressure, you could set it up. But even if you don't have infinite pressure, moving the CO2 at the beginning helps out a lot. Whether it's moving it into a box, moving it to a door crusher like this. That way all the gases just get deleted like that. Or you could also just vent it out into the space vacuum. Now for that... Um, one of the things you should try to do then is to play around with that. So you know now that CO2 is going to accumulate at the bottom, right? It's going to want to head to the bottom. So you know that not only do you want to do like a pocket that you're going to have as a, you know, fail safe. If you need to, you could open it up and then the CO2 has more space to fall down into. You could always do something like that. You could always try to rush uh, the oxygen mask which might be a lot better for you. You can get that pretty early right here. And, you know, it's it's going to mean that you're going to have to pump oxygen into this, which is going to be a lot of power. But this would remove the need for having uh, to deal with that CO2 at the bottom, or if you need to do uh, bottom side exploration. And, you know, there's a big cloud of CO2. You can't dig through that. Dupes are uh, holding their breath constantly. So that it's a option. Carbon skimmer is actually not bad. This is really good. A couple of problems about this is that it tends to break itself because it's a little bit too strong. That sounds weird, right? It's so effective that it puts itself in a vacuum very often. And when it does that, the building has nowhere to dump the heat. And then it in turn kind of just bops itself. So that's something to think of. All right, so we should be good now, Steve. Oh, Steve was using the restroom. That's why you guys, man, are the problem. You guys are the problem. Oh, there's no food on the other side. Okay, we're going to set him some food. So these guys are going to go back. We're not going to get the oil yet. We still got to build uh, back with these guys. We are out of food. All right, let's get him some food. So these guys is food. 2K, that's fine. Thanks, legit, for sure. Yeah, it's confused what's happening. I'm going to eventually learn. Make the infinite oxygen thing I keep hearing about. Yeah, for sure, man. But yeah, hope that helps. If you uh, have any other questions, feel free to ask. I'll be happy to help. All I got to say is like general advice is hard for me to 
realistically uh like give just because it's like I, I might be explaining something you just might not understand <laughs> so if you guys can if you guys have questions try to ask specific questions right because then it's it's oni is so open-ended man it's so hard to say like oh this is exactly what happened just from you know looking at the bits and pieces of clues but yeah i got you though if you do need the help Simple automation on Carbon Skipper is useful. That, that is true. It is a little bit so strong that you could probably try to do something like that. Something like a... Uh, like a timer sensor. Works for a few seconds, doesn't work for a few seconds to allow the CO2 to kind of like reacclimate itself. Alright, so that should be fine. We gotta do this. Now we gotta send food, right? Over in the sun. Okay, we have roasted grub nuts. We're going to do this. Come on, let's send the roasted grub nuts. Let's go, boys. All right, got the pinch of pepper nut. Halo man, coming in with a solution. I see you guys over there. Welcome in. For the most part, though, um, that's going to be up to you, Let the Lore. You could follow a step-by-step -step solution. I don't recommend that at all, man. I would recommend just do the decision-making that you would want to do. Just because it's like, you're at the beginning of the game, right? You you could take someone's solution, but it's like, I wouldn't advise that. I would recommend you just, you know, do what you want to do. Because at the end of the day, you, you know, you got to make the mistakes to learn. And you got to have fun instead of just following what someone tells you. Unless that's, you know, what you want, right? <laughs> Unless that's what you want. You don't want to think, you just want to get the results. But yeah. You know me. You know I uh, push for the try, try again until you get frustrated. And then, you know, I'll give you the easiest way. But you gotta have fun, man. Alright, we got the toilet water. Nice, let's land. We got the food. Yeah, yeah. No longer unreachable food items. Wait, wait, is there only one guy here? Oh no, he's right here. Nice. Okay, he's good, he's good. Alright, not grounded. Everything's okay. Cool. We have food. Nice. Got the uh, roasted grub nuts. Alright, we're gonna wait for dust caps to grow. We are harvesting that. So we're gonna wait because we don't have seeds. Nice. All right, Mr. Pip. We got the pinch of pepper nuts, man. You got this, buddy. All right, we're going to move this to here. And the logic is so that the Pip planting the seeds doesn't have to move as far. Hey, this guy, 1,000 hours of RimWorld, man. <laughs> I see you over there, man. That's a flex. That's a flex, man. It's a good way to learn. Honestly, the, the tip I would give you is sandbox mode is going to be the easiest way for you to figure it out yourself. Sandbox mode. Very strong. Very good. I would highly recommend that. All right, we got to get this priority nine. I'm thinking I'm all excited to learn about how the harness pets and all that. Yo, man. Dude. Critters are, are nice, but at the same time, critters are a pain, dude. <laughs> if you want to hate critters, you should try to tame shovels from the beginning. And then once you do uh, hatches after shovels, you're going to be like, oh my god, hatches are so much better. <laughs> like, there's no setup, dude. Everything just works from the box. 
And then with the shovel, it's like, yo, man, they're, they keep jailbreaking. What's happening? <laughs> Shovels are a pain, though, man. 100%. Alright, so we didn't get a coral egg yet. Alright, we have the adult shine bug. Alright. Oh, it's a royal. It is royal. Okay. So they eat the suns. Alright, so I need to start getting a sun bug once we have it. And we need to move them into here. Okay. So we're going to copy. This is Sun Bug Sun Nymph, uh, priority nine. And then they're eating fried mushrooms. Uh, we're no longer allowed to eat fried mushrooms, boys. We got to save it for the shine bugs. Everyone's getting banned. You drip. I want the pain, Sag. <laughs> Let the Lord, man. This guy's a masochist. All right, how are we over here? He's chilling. We have the food. All right, we're going to launch with this guy as well. Oh, he filled up with steam. That's my bad. All right, so we'll do this. Dump it out. And then we are doing... I want to go down this way. All right, we'll go down here. Just to do a half scan. Because I'm pretty sure it's here. But I, I want to check this out. So we'll do the 5 out of 10 there. Crew launch. We have the food for that. Everything's fine. All right, so when we launch, all that dumps, which is fine. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, so once we get the mushrooms, then we'll do the royal bug. I got the wrong one, but I got the right item, so I can't really be mad about that. Mr. Pip got that. Let's go. Keep planning, man. You can do this. All right, and then we need this to kind of back up before I want to start using it again. Oh, this is the wrong. My bad. It's supposed to be here. Ooh, Mellow Molo. Oh, I have those seeds already. We have a Liam. I think we take a Stinky, dude. Stinky the plumber, dude. Starts with plumbing. He's a pure decorator. Actually going to be useless. Feels bad. Is this infinite pressure? 400. All right, it's only this tile. Okay, so it's this. Yeah, we gotta allow the uh, gases to push up. Hello? Hello? There we go. Move, move, move. Up, move up, move up. What the heck is that? All right, we're just going to delete this. Delete the CO2, five kilograms. Mom, I hear you waking up, baby. My kitty cat's awake. All right, got to bop this. There we go. Polluted oxygen. It's going to level out now. Nice, that's a lot better. The CO2 here is kind of a problem. I'm thinking about uh, putting airflow on the side. I know we need to do this. I want the pain, Sag. Yo, man. It's not worth it, dude. Alright, pro tip. If you guys are replacing tiles like this. I mean, it's not going to hurt me now because there's no water here. But you should actually slow it down to 1x speed right as it finishes. And there's a clean swap so that none of the water leaks out. Now, of course, we're just doing this for the CO2 to leak. We're just going to fill this up, right? That's chilling. These guys are chilling. All right, so this is copy paste. This is going to be organic slime. P9, and it should work. I want to say it does. Okay. That should be good. We're trapped. We shouldn't be. There is a wire here now. Nice. All right, we got to build a lot of this out. Okay, so. Um, I'm mining this. So that I could do this.
and we will go around with the jankest wire known to man. There we go. And that connects to everything. That would be not bad. All right. So sweep that. Let's go. This guy not wearing a suit. All right. Let's go back inside. Let's do a quick swap. This is... Susumu and Lethalor. Come on, y'all. Come on. Necronation, I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for tuning in. That lag, yo. Yo, popped eardrums right before. All right, nice. Both got the suits. Got the deliveries. That's all P5. That's fine. All right, so they're chilling. Rocket here is chilling nice. So far, so good. All right, so there's a shine bug here, right? All right, we're going to take the shine bug and we're going to move them into here. It's time to start critter fluxing these guys. I want to see what we get. We're going to get a random color, too. <laughs> it's been a while. It's good to be here. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. If you're not familiar, we're doing a critter run where the objective is save all the critters. And what we're going to do is we're going to get and tame every tameable critter and have each one of them alive with their variations. So we're going to have to evolve all the shine bugs, right? And get all seven forms. We already have pips, cuddle pips. We have three hatches. I don't want to feed smooth hatches. So we're going to do that last. Sweetles, grub grubs, these are all tame. And then we have Drekos, Glossies. We're doing Poke Shell soon. This guy's a Sandy Shell egg, and then we're just gonna start. Uh, once we get a Sandy Shell, we're just gonna start breeding them. Regular Pokies are being bred, and I need one more Wild to get a Oak Shell. That's gonna be the play, though. I might just move some dirt into here, and then move a Tame Pokey, just because it's like we have two eggs already, and then just slowly get an Oak Shell. That's probably gonna be better. And then we need to get Brackeen. That's going to be the Pinch of Pepper Nut farm down here. Uh, yeah, we're still waiting for the line to back up. Speed this up. Let's go into these guys. They're chilling. All right, so there's no problems, right? All right, I need to stop doing that. And then this is disabled now. Nice. Okay. Uh, for the memes, I guess we could do it like this. So it's a uh, small wire, but this is a heavy watt. So the heavy to small is fine. Oh, we got a new species. And then we're going to start saving a little bit of water so we don't have to add this water. That comes in from the you know home base. Going to start doing it from here instead. Going to need that, though. And then once that's done, it's going to be nice. I might want to add some more water here still. For the heat exchange. All right, we got shine bugs. Oh, they gave me a sun bug. Man, I have this already. <laughs> I have this already. Hacking. It moved up one time. Uh, I guess we could move them in here. Oh, there's three of them already. Never mind. I will right, we'll move them back and we we'll evolve them again once he's ready. This is gonna recharge in a cycle. Okay, so far, so good. Let's do a quick sweep. Missed the pip. It's doing the planning. Everything seems pretty good so far, though. How was the metal volcano so that we can start feeding the plug slugs? That's going to be amazing. And then we're going to have to get the water and the battery stops here. I do want bottle emptiers. Alright, let's just seal this up. Temp shift plates. I do need to vacuum this. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's gonna be a vacuum. Oh, and then we have power from the solar panels. Oh, that's so good. I have power from the solar panels. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't even be mad. Connected to one of the batteries only. Okay. Oh, they left the suit in here. Let's move this out. Yeah, they're not docking the suits. They really should. That would help out a lot. Alright, these guys are chilling. Mushroom slime. Alright, alright. Can't really do the rest. Alright, so I don't think I actually have enough beds, right? And I might want to start moving the Paku. Yeah. Uh, let's sweep this sign. This battery might not be used anymore. That's actually my only battery that I have. Alright, let's start distributing more power then. I, I think that's what we need to do. We need a line to go to the bottom. That sh probably should be this line. 10.08. I guess we could grab some stuff off of this line and put it somewhere else. I just can't imagine what that would be. I'm always uh, move the dupe into the rocket before swapping suits. That way they drop the suits somewhere convenient. That's true. But by having the dupe swap outside, none of the CO2 is in the rocket. So you never actually have to worry about CO2. <laughs> That's actually why I, it's like I don't really mind swapping suits outside because the CO2 gets dumped outside as well. And that makes it so that you don't have to clean that. How many shine bugs to power one solar? I think it's somewhere around 300 for full power. Something about 300 shine bugs for full power. And then the funny thing with that is, is that um, that setup would be per solar panel you can't use that same group of 300 shine bugs for another one the range doesn't work out so it's it's never worth it it's so laggy to do that man pee water too yeah if they pee their seat <laughs> if they pee their seat yep yeah, that's really bad time man 100 percent. all right i'm thinking about moving the paku right now um Alright, meme strat of the day. Let's go. Please don't fail. Please don't fail. Slow drip, slow drip. Transferring the water tank. Y'all know how it is. Why well, agree? The shine bugs for power sucks. The shine bug for radiation is nice. Shine bug radiation is amazing. Shine bugs are are really good in the slime biome. You release a couple of the shine bugs and you don't actually have to worry about uh, the, the slime lung germ. Because the radiation you get from the shine bugs, man... Just one shine bug at like 50 rads is good enough to actually wipe out just random slime lung that it flies by. It's really, really strong. I agree with that statement. It's pretty good. All right, let's move the fry egg. We got to remove this. Let's remove the building. That's this tile. Oh, there was pressure damage right here. Wow. You see that? Pressure damage on the corner. That's actually kind of impressive. Alright, let's mop the sub. Fish be flopping. The water does not want to equalize for some reason. There we go. There we go. Now push everything to the right. Alright, so here, get rid of that. Let's get the ladder. 
let's get rid of tiles, tiles, tiles. This one as well. Alright, something happened. Someone's trapped. Stop lying to me. My dupes are not trapped. Yeah, they chillin', man. ch ch, -ch chillin'. Guys, you guys remember Chia Pets? Has anyone ever had a Chia Pet, man? That was something that historically I thought was kind of cool. You know, that you would see on TV. But then it's like, I never had one of those. Cause, so it's like, yo, man, are Chia Pets really that nice? You guys remember that, man? Am I too old? No one remembers that. Feels bad. Stop giving me the trap, man. It's not actually trapped. Alright, the water is pushing down. That's good. I remember those. Hey, ch 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 chia Dude, man. Didn't they have a Bob Ross version that it was like a picture of Bob Ross's face? And it grows out of fro? I remember that, man. They had a Bob Ross ch 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 chia pet, man. That shit was dope. That shit was dope, yo. I might be the only one that remembers, though. I had the Bob Ross Chia Pet. Hey, people remember. Let's go. I'm not alone. Shout out to you guys, man. My dad got one for my mom. It's a gag gift. Oh, my God. Did she like it, though? Or did she just kind of, like, just keep it in the closet? Like, I would I would totally just try it out. I got it for my B-Day one year. Hey. So, I got to ask, man. Is it like the commercials? You add water and the grass starts growing in a couple seconds. <laughs> you just add water, man. The grass just grows. Oh, you can't all sweep that. I guess I'll have to sweep this. I mean, at least it works. It is. Oh, that sounds cool. Do you need ladders in the pincher to reach the plants? Uh, yeah, we'll do that later. I think we might just add a, a layer here, is what I'm thinking. That wouldn't be a bad thing. And I'll probably want to use Mafic there. That makes a lot of sense. Because then I need to be able to reach. But I needed to add the five tile range so that the planting makes sense. Hip's going to be working though. Alright, so this is good. So that means I get to do this. Nice, so then now we can fill this up with oxygen. So this is a vacuum. Got the nice clean vacuum lock. The pip's chilling now, nice. So this is supposed to be hot. This is going to be 35 plus, 35, 85. And then we need you to come backwards, man. Oh, he sees the seed. Come on, sprint to the tile. She tried it out, but I don't remember how long she stuck with it. Oh, that's the wrong question. The correct question is... Does your do your Bob Ross grow its fro overnight? Oh man, this guy. Does your Bob Ross paint a picture even if it's bright? I just had to rhyme, dude. That didn't even make no sense. Did not make no sense, but it rhymes. All that matters. Dude, the pip's gonna get stuck in here, man. Someone's gonna build a tile right on top of the pip. I know it. Someone's gonna do it, man. Are, are they messing with his pathing or something? Dude, you're supposed to be grabbing the seed. Oh, that's the wrong planet. Ah, oh, dude. Okay, it's a 50-50. Here or here is going to be the shovel planet. It's a, it's a true 50-50. What are the chances? Damn, true 50-50. Yeah. You can't have a planet on the edge. I've never seen that happen. So it's going to be here, or it's going to be here for the shovels. Oh, dude, that's the worst. That is actually the worst. Because that's, that, that's literally 10 tile range. And this requires a jump. <laughs> okay, we're going home. We don't need to scan that. Yeah, man. It's, it's a one out of two. Never tell me the odds. 50% of the time, it's ahead every time. You guys good over here? We got the vacuum looking good. 
can't complain. Got some wires to build. Nice. All right, we're going to do this. And then we're going to use that for a battery. That way we just have power. Okay, so this is good. This is gravy. Couple things to build out. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Um. Hmm. It should be fine. All right, so we're waiting for the vacuum. Oh, I know I don't have the radiant pipe yet. Okay. Someone's trapped. That's that's a lie. Okay. So I want that and then oh. I guess I just used the gold. Uh, so what's the tile space here? 33 times 50. Anyone got the math for that? 3350? That's 1850? 1850 kilograms? Am I right? I think that's right, right? I might be wrong. No, it might be just 850. 50 times 33. No, it's 1850, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a little bit less than two tons. Oh, dude, I don't have enough. No, it's 16. Oh, dude, 45. Did I make... Oh, I made the pump. Oh, no. Oh, I have gold wires. Somewhere? Yes, gold wires. To convert that to iron, baby. What? No, the shutoff is made out of gold. Uh, this is refined, right? All right, we're going to remove this so that we can build the radiant pipe here. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. I overdid my math. I had that wrong. Dude, Julie, coming in with the ray. Holy heck, what's going on? This is shipping conveyor shutoff, and that is iron. I'm lagging. All right, I'm in. And then I got to make sure we could do this. Uh, so here, bam, here, here, here. Oh, that's tough. Oh, that's tough. That's such a bad spot. All right, let's let that kind of do its thing. Shout out to Julie. What's going on, Julie? How are the streams? Playing some Oni. Awesome, awesome. Did you guys get the Great Monument then? How was that? And of course, thank you so much for the raid. People coming in with the Julie raid. If you guys don't know Julie, she does a lot of Oxygen not included. And of course, check her out, guys. Drop her a follow. But how was the stream? Talk to us about that. And if you guys don't know me, my name is Too Legit City. And we're doing a Save the Critters run. That means we're getting every critter in the book that's tameable, and we're going to be uh, taming them. Y'all know what that means. We're going to try to keep the uh, critters happy. All right, we're going to take the water. And then right now, this is the base. A lot of ranches. Y'all know what it is. All the shine bugs. We got to get started on that. And then we are on the second planet to get some resources over here. Oil, sulfur, and then uh, they're just trying to manage that. And then right now we're trying to tame a metal volcano so we can start feeding the plug slugs. Right now those guys are a little bit... I don't want to feed them, man. So I'm, I'm effectively just trying to tame a volcano just to feed them. But yeah, that's where we're at right now. If you guys have questions, feel free to ask. I'd be happy to help. Let me know. Not yet. Just got the glossy Draco egg. So plastic is around the corner. Nice, nice. Glossy Dracos. I'm not going to lie. That might have been one of the top tier critters of all time. That's still not nerfed. Like, they came into the game, they never got nerfed, and it's just solid source of plastic, man. It's really good. Well, that's going to be a good time. Hopefully, you got the uh, Draco Ranches for that. Make sure you got to have the uh, idle room. You got to make sure to have the idle room. Oh, yeah, Julie. This is the updated Draco Ranch. So you have an idle room here so that you could just start sharing non-stop. 
Now they're cramped and crowded, and that's supposed to make their metabolism slower, right? Minus 80. That way they live a little bit longer, and their scale growth is not affected. So every three cycles, you just go here and shear everyone inside. Because of that, I limit my amount of glossies, and the rest go into the evolution chamber over here. You can see the rail design, right? And then that way, I could kind of, uh, you know, maintain the ranch because there's a trap right here that's tied to the sensor right here. So once I have less than eight Drekos, this is going to trigger and then someone's going to move them from here to here. It's going to be uh, pretty nice. But uh, yeah, that's going to be the easiest way to start accumulating either the regular Drekolid or the glossy uh, resource. We got a regular one here just to keep the uh, reed fiber. And I didn't realize this, but making condo critter condos for every one man is mad expensive because each one is 10 reed fiber it's it's kind of expensive <laughs> 10 reed fiber man i'm just happy that the uh water fort doesn't need that oh you added a condo in the main area i see i see you i see you but yeah, I like having this, because it acts as a refill, so you're always topped off, and then you get free plastic from these guys. Lower the amount, probably want two at the very minimum. But yeah, keeps it going non-stop. That way, always at maximum capacity. It's pretty nice, and it's automatic. I gotta make a video for that, to the, show the change. Yummy plastic, yo man. Plastic's already in your food. Clever use the critter trap that way. That's actually what I think I like the most, man. The critter trap's nice. The critter trap is very nice. Ah, this is a problem. I see. So I'm here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, I see now. So I would want to put it here. I don't want to do that, though. That means that I get no coolant on this side. That's really bad. That means then... So I effectively want to go like this, like that. That's tough. Because I could bridge this side, but I can't start from that side. I guess we could do a very bad pattern. So here 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 and we zigzag this yeah that works that actually works oh that's tough all right so it's gonna be let's pause gold this goes here That's tough. All right, so now we have this and then that insulated. Realistically, this goes like this. This comes down like so and goes out like this. This also means that's a bridge. And then I need temp shift plates in here. So this is one, two, one, two. Oh, perfectly wide. Nice. Okay, we could do that. All right, got to run, get dinner, have a great stream. Thank you for the raid, Julie. And of course, yo, man, got to do the post-stream stuff, especially if you stream a long time. But of course, get that dinner, get the good food, take care of what you need to do. If you got the animals, significant others, whatever it might be, take care of business. And have a good one, Julie. We'll see you next time. Why not use conductive panel on this? It doesn't help. <laughs> Wait, what? The conductive panel is not as strong as the radiant pipe. It's it's a percentage factor uh, slower. So it's like, I, I'd rather not uh, build that if it's going to be better just using the refined metal for this. Conductive panels, a hundred, and it only covers one tile, I think. Eat the BBQ, not the meal wise. Yeah, man. Gotta listen to the pro tips. 
the people of chat know what they're doing. All right, still got to work on this. Uh, how is the food? We have food. Can't complain. I need to swap suits, actually. That's what I need to do right now. Yeah, fake traps. You had to do a swap. It cools the boat. So the problem with the conductive panel is that it doesn't move 10 kilograms per second. The conductive panel does not move full packets of water. That's the problem. And then it's only cooling on the middle segment. The left and right segment shouldn't actually be cooling. So technically, you're kind of overspending for a weaker setup. That's the main problem, though, with the conductive panel. The advantage is that you have that work in a vacuum. So you wouldn't need, like, ambient gas. That's something you would build for, like, rocketry stuff. Space builds, so to speak, or build in a vacuum. Like, having your... Uh... So something like this. Right? Where you have a vacuum in the room, you wouldn't need a liquid medium on the ground like this in order to have this, you know, still do its thing, right? And that's the advantage. Now, the problem is, is that the radiant pipe single segment right here outperforms the conductive panel. So because of that, it doesn't really, like, make sense for me to use something that's weaker. I like the old uh, miner design with the drop of petroleum and drywall. Yeah, that still works. You can still do that. I see what you're saying with that, yeah. You could still use that design if you really want. It's just making it so that you don't need to do that setup. You could just put a conductive panel on your Robo Miner. And then it's like you would still do the C panel. You just don't have to drip oil. You don't have to build a drywall background. Skip that. As long as you could actually maintain temperature with a conductive panel. So for min-maxing, you would try to avoid it just because it's not as effective. But for like just getting by, it's good enough. It's actually pretty great for that, to be honest. How long till a vacuum? Or oh, we're in the micrograms? Nice. And the worst thing about this is that this is still idle. I think by the time we actually tame this, it's going to go dormant. And I'm going to be so sad. Uh, what's the other geyser here? We have aluminum and copper. Uh, aluminum wouldn't be bad, but I would need a two steam turbine design. Just because it's, it's super hot. Hopefully the gold's not going to be bad. If anything, we'll just mine all the precious metals here and bring it home. <laughs> Let's bring it home, man. Stop dealing with it. All right, they got the suits on. They chilling. We are flying back still. Got the radioactive asteroid shield right there. Got the free uranium, man. That's kind of nice. All right, so it's going to be here. We have to go here. One, two, three, four, five, and then I could reach that. Second item here, I have to fly to here and then go one, two, three, and then I could scan that. All right, we're going to have to double jump each planet, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, here it is. We finally got mushrooms, boys. Finally. It was not able to be selected on here earlier. There it is. We got mushrooms. All right. I need to make sure the dupes don't eat the mushrooms. And the fried ones as well. No one's allowed, boys. Y'all need to stop eating that. We need to feed that to the shine bugs. All right. So we got to put fried mushrooms here forever. BBQ. We're not making frost buns. We can make surf and turf, but we're fine. Yeah, we're not doing gas range, even though we have the natty gas and all that. We cool. Don't need it. Don't need it. All right. So I'll be able to take a sun bug, put it in here and start feeding them mushrooms. Try to get a coral egg. Royal egg. I'm sorry. Not the coral. It's a royal. All right. The loaders are always going to be uh, all eggs.
All right, it's fine. Oh, did the pip get stuck? No, he didn't. Mr. Pip. Get the seeds, Mr. Pip. All right, body temperature. It's not hot enough. Okay, so you know what we're going to do? We're going to build something known as the space heater. Uh, 30 degrees, right? Yeah, we're going to build the space heater. So utilities... Space heater, we'll put it right there. These are all solid regular tiles, so it should be all right. And then we're going to need a little bit of power. Let's go. How much Lux is the shine bug reactor giving off? <laughs> that meme reactor is not giving up that much, actually. Okay. Guys, any estimates in chat how much light is here? Any estimates, man? Let's have some fun. Let's have a prediction. All right. This is freaking... All right, I can't actually do it. <laughs> We're do a poll instead. I need to do a prediction, but then like my OBS doesn't allow for that. All right. Uh, let's go 1,000. Uh... Dude, this poll is a struggle. All right, yo. We got the poll, yo. We got the poll. Three choices. I didn't have a above all values. <laughs> it feels bad. We got polio. No, 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 man. We're, we're checking the Lux. Checking the Lux. We got the poll, yo. You know, in Spanish, I basically just said we got the chicken, the pollo. You know, you know what, it, you know, the pollos hermanos. You seen Breaking Bad? You seen the Breaking Bad? I don't know if you've seen the Breaking Bad. All right, so this is going to be gold. And then this is going to be manual. No, double gold. A double gold. All right, so then we have lead, like this, lead like that. Double lead. El Pollo Loco, there we go, he knows. Pollo con queso, yo man. Queso fondito, that's actually a lot better if you know what that is. I am the danger, no, 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 no. Say my name. Y'all know what it is. Lost Poyos Hermanos. I see a Sorin. I see you over there. I'm not going to lie, man. I tried looking for Better Call Saul on Amazon Prime. And I couldn't find it, man. Feels bad. I still need to watch that. I still need to watch that, man. I need to start. And then I need to watch. I heard it's amazing. I heard it's amazing. I don't have Netflix. Is it on Netflix? I'm not even sure. All right, so this is almost ready. We gotta do the vacuum block. It is. I got rid of my Netflix a few months ago though. Yo, feels bad. During the, the great Netflix purge, I heard about that, man. Something, something, and then everyone just gave up Netflix. I heard about that, man. Is the is the rocket back? No, where's the rocket? Oh, he's he's just got back. Okay. 
Everything is fine. Yep, we're good, we're good. Alright, so this guy, we're just waiting for this guy to get to the bottom, and then we'll move him to here. Once we get the Sandy Shell, we'll feed him as well. This is good. Can't complain. Oh, the heater's on? Well, no, it's not. I gotta turn it on. There we go. Mr. Pip, you got this, buddy. So this only hits a target temperature of 70. I can't actually overheat the room. So I could I just leave it plugged in for, like, the remainder. All right. And we have the majority of the people. Between 5,000 and 10,000 lux. We have also 1,000 and 5,000 with two guesses. And no one thinks it's less than 1,000. All right, people of chat. What's fair? What's considered fair? Which tile do I actually choose to evaluate? Do we choose a center tile? Do we choose a tile on the edge? Does it really matter? All right, it's center tile, right? So we start from here. This is the center. All right, and... Dude! 60,000? Alright, I didn't even have this in my calculations. Jesus Christ. Everyone is wrong because I did not think it'd get that high. <laughs> Dude, Susie Moose said 60,000 lux. Jeez. Jeez. The edge got to 20. So it's minimum 20, minimum 19, and then top end 63. Yeah. So I guess anyone that guessed, uh, what was it? The 50 and 10K? That was probably the, uh, the value. All right, boys. Let's actually see what kind of bugs we have. We're going to turn down the sun, boys, using the best strat known to man. We're going to hit him with some sadness. And once the sadness is in play, the shine bugs are going to dim down. All right, boys. We can see the shine bugs now. Nice. All right. We have a couple of sun nymphs. Everyone else is a regular shine bug, though. That's kind of tough. We can see him now, boys. All right. Let's, let's bop it. Let them shine bright like a diamond again. We'll play again tomorrow. Once we got a little bit more uh, shine bugs to hatch. Shine bright. Let's go. Hit him with the solar flare. We did it, boys. If you guys didn't know, that is a happiness thing. Why that happens. All right. So this is good. Power... Uh, pipeline. I need a liquid in here. That's fine. We'll probably just move uh, pea water. That makes the most sense. Oh, that means I probably want to do this then. And then I want to just start pumping. That means I want to build this ladder. I could go here to here to here. And then we'll get the pump. Have that come up. Have that come down. Uh, I'm going to use a regular power line here just because we're just filling this up for like one time. So we could actually probably get away with something like this. And then I know that we need to get to here. So we're just going to copy that line so that we could bridge on. All right, that's to keep them busy. And then we're going to have to send them back to get some oil. We're going to need oil from the bottom level. Oh, did I ever actually... Did I mess up? Oh, I did. How bad is it on the side? This is not that bad, actually. This is not even filled up. Okay, so we're actually okay. How come this is... I'm actually kind of confused now. Oh, we're not getting water. That's why. I was like, why is this no longer giving me petroleum? 
Oh, there it is. Okay. So we got to do this. That's power. Let's get a priority nine here. Do we have sand on this planet? I might have sent it all back. No, we have 29 tons. That's decent. Okay, so we need to do that. P9, that's good. All right, that's why we're not getting petroleum anymore. All right, so on this side, we do have a tank of petroleum. So I guess that's going to be the liquid of choice. So we'll just decon this, put it on the ground. And then we're just going to attach this on that side. No longer coming out here. We're going to bop the rest of these. Technically speaking, I should just plumb this. And that's actually free cobalt. Oh, I forgot about that. Chillin, chillin. All right, we got to work on this side. All right, this is not bad. So we'll get the volcano tamed next time. That's what it looks like. And then we'll be able to start feeding plug slugs and start getting the variations of them. Then after that, I will probably have a poke shell ready for the oak shell. I could probably just also mutate it and try to hope to get it. Did he go through twice and came out as a sun bug two times? Oh, dude, no way. Dude, all right, we're going to try again. That would be ultimate meme, dude, if it did that. 30k is like full sunlight. 35k. is That's max uh, sun value for the solar panels. So you need 35,000 lux per tile in order to power a solar panel to full power. Now, radiation, though. Dang, that's a thousand? This is a crashed satellite, man. Dude, that's a crashed satellite. That's impressive. That's actually kind of impressive. Yo, man, someone move them. I want to see another evolution. Come on. Go to the ceramic morb. Go hug the little morb. Come on, hit him with the trap. Oh, got him, boys. Scooped him up. Come on. What do we got today? Dude, it's the same thing. What is this? I got this three times? Is it? This has got to be jank, right? This has got to be something wrong. I got the same sun bug three times. So I put a regular shine bug. Got a sun bug. Put him in. Sun bug. Put him in again. Sun bug. What the heck is that? I thought it only morphed base species and not alternatives. Really? Oh, I guess you're right. It's only the base form. I see you guys over there. Yeah, you guys are right. You guys are right, man. I was just going to rename this guy the Immortal Sunbug. That his bloodline was so thick that he was always going to be a sunbug. Little did I know, I was just wrong. Goddamn. Be like that sometimes, boys. <laughs> They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Sometimes you're just wrong, man. I learned that today. All right, so this is still doing the mud spin. That's fine. We're just going to get some water from that. Uh, I'll probably just mop up the pee water and drip that down here, to be honest. Oh, look at that. The ice is mad cold now. I'm impressed. I am impressed. Now, we're not making any more metal. I feel like we should. Oh, we need iron, probably. Mamba, I see you. Being wrong is usually the path on being right. <laughs> Admitting that you're wrong is the first step of being right. Isn't that how it goes? Am I wrong? Something, something, you gotta admit, something, some cash rules everything around me, nepotism, cream, something. Something, some Wu-Tang Clan. 
There we go. I think this is going to be pretty good. Let's send these guys back, actually. We could dig this out, do the thing. I need to come back with the water. So let's go home. Let's go home, everybody. Let's go home. Mom, I see you, babies. Tab this guy. My other rocket's back at home. Okay, we're good. We are great. Good times. Okay, so we need to find the shovel planet. It's a 50-50. There's two locations. We found the gassy moo, so we have to go there and grab one. And then we haven't ranched slicksters. So I think that's going to be the big thing we're going to do. We're going to build a slickster room slash delectable room. Now, the reason for that is because they both want hot environments. The hotter, the better. So we're going to try to manage a couple of rooms for that. Ah, look at this. So we're adding cold water in, or hot water into cold water. Looks like the cold water is winning. Pretty good, pretty good. So we're going to make a hot room for the uh, Slicksters. We're going to make a hot room for the Delectables. And then we're going to make a hot room for the Crabs to get Crab Legs. Some 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 people were talking about they wanted Crab Legs. All right. We're going to have to boil some pokey shells. And then you guys are going to get your cooked seafood that you guys really wanted. And then we're going to add some table salt. We got that. It's going to be pretty good. No butter, though. Feels bad. 500 degrees Celsius. No, 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 no. We have this, man. 500 degree polluted oxygen. We got the PO2. <laughs> That's, what do you do with that, man? The puffs get cooked, man. What do you do with that? <laughs> the puffs get cooked, man. We can't do anything with that. All right. So this is going to be where we're going to wrap things up for the night. So, guys, thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for hanging out. And it's going to be time for us to get that saving.